What is up, you guys? I'm going to give it a couple seconds to see, to get a lot more other people here. Um, we're going to do a really fun live stream today. We're going to answer everybody's questions. We're going to kiki with the girls. So stay tuned because I'll be answering and we'll just be chatting it up. So um, feel free to ask anything. Feel free to say hi. Um, but if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. We have two um, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. It helps out a lot. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait until other people get in here and we're gonna kiki with the girls. Who's excited? Cause I am definitely excited. Uh, T-A-R-R-E-E-M-N-A -E -E says, hi Sergio. Sorry, I'm not the best with pronouncing names so I'd rather spell it out. Uh, hi, how are you? He's, uh, they said, hi Sergio, hi to you. Hi from Dallas, Texas, put a little heart as well. Um, but yeah, let's kiki with the girls. Uh, we have, Oswaldo uh, saying hello. She has a story saying, hi, Sergio, sending love from Japan, sending love from Dallas, Texas. We have Alexis saying yes. Um, um, we got Mendez, hi, Sergio, hi, how are you? Uh, we got S-U-L-E, hello from Wisconsin, hi from Dallas. Uh, Jordan says hi, um, hola, hi to you. Daniela says hi from Miami, hi from Dallas, Texas. Ryan says hi from Canada, hi from Dallas, Texas. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. CB says, hi, Sergio, hooray, it's Friday tea night with Sergio. Yes, 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 you know it. I try to give the baby shower fantasy today. Um, Tara says, hi, Sergio, love your necklace. Thank you, thank you so much, love. Uh, Lizeth says, hola, guapo. Hola, 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 como estas? Um, we have hi from Phoenix, from Robinson. Uh, Ramirez says, hi, Sergio, love you, love you as well. Uh, Kate says, hi from Houston, hi from Dallas. Um, we have, yes, I, I made it. Can't believe I missed last week. How are you doing, babe? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. A little bit of a busy week, but I made it through. Now it's the weekend and I'm going to enjoy my Easter. Kiki with the girls. Miss Glamour forever up in here. Hi, Sergio. Sending love from South Florida. Sending love from Dallas, Texas. Uh, sending love from New York. We got New York in the house. We got Japan in the house. We got all these different places in the house. Rico says, hi. Hi, girl. Hi. Um, and she put hashtag Philadelphia. But yeah, it's been a little bit of a crazy week, but you know, I always come through, I always pull through, and you know, that's what it's all about. Oh my god, my friend just texted me right now and was like, I don't think that's the gender reveal party. So that's the that's the baby daddy shirt. <laughs> well, I think it's all of the above. Um but yeah, I wanted to give the Burberry moment since my last video that I posted yesterday was Burberry. So I decided we're going to play into the same theme. And I really don't wear this shirt as much uh, as I used to, like when I first bought it like two years ago. So I decided today I'm going to wear it again. So that's why I decided to wear it. Um, happy early Easter. Same with me. Been busy. Yeah, I mean, life goes great, especially when you're living, living, living. Um, but happy Earth Easter to all of you guys. If you guys, if you celebrate it, you guys have a good, good Easter. I am, I'm giving the Easter Bunny fantasy. I think I'm going to be wearing some Easter Bunny ears. Uh, maybe a little bit of, of a little Playboy moment, maybe. I don't know, because it's bunny ears, but I don't know, girl. Uh, we got Alexis says, hola, amiga, giving us those vibes. LOL, can it be the 22nd already? See you soon. Yes, honey, the 22nd will be coming very, 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 very soon. Um, hi, Sergio. I'm moving to Dallas soon. Uh, I, I heart Lux 07. What well, part of Dallas are you moving to? That's very fun. Dallas is a very, very fun city. It's a little bit more relaxed than Houston. I find that Houston is very, very fast paced. So um, I think you're going to love it here in Dallas. I did come into the live stream a little early. So we're going to wait for us and other people to get here. Um, Let's see, Rico says, this week has been rammed by so fast though. Um, yeah, <laughs> this week was so, 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 so fast. Everything goes by so fast. Uh, Brian says, Friday nights are drag race night. Maybe more people would join if it were on Thursday. What do we think? We think Friday or do we think Thursday? Um, usually when I watch like TV or like shows and stuff, I usually just end up watching everything like a day, a couple days later. Um, but I don't know. Right now, I kind of like the Friday because it's like, it, you know, I, in my opinion, I think Friday is like the best day of the week. Um, but we can see. We can see. We can work out. Let's see what the girls say. Um, but we 
but I'm open. I mean, we can do like a live stream on Thursday and then I can just put a regular video on Friday. I think Fr Fridays are, for me, is like my favorite day of the week. So I was like, I'm in a good mood. I'm kiki with the girls. Um, someone put yes to Friday or Thursday. Um, someone said, whenever you have time, I'm here for it. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thursday will be cool. Someone said, not Friday. Thursday I have work. See, so it's a little bit of both. Um, Someone put, I'm so dumb, I thought 7 p.m. EST, not Central. Yeah, it's Texas time, Texas time. Uh, we have Burberry says, hi. Uh, Tara says, I like Fridays. I love Fridays. Oh, I heard Lux says, uh, moving to Frisco. Oh, you're going to love Frisco. I love Frisco. If I were uh, to buy a home, I would buy a home in Frisco. I love, love, love Frisco. Um, JJ Adventure says, up to you. What's up, new to YouTube? W with Ma Fam, my husband likes your channel and, and you said hi to him, Ramirez. Aw, uh, I, I just started doing the live stream, so I love it. Does somebody know how um, moderator works? I'm not really sure. I think it, a moderator is like when I can click on a person, right? And then they can kind of check um, like on the comments and stuff. Uh, Cause last week we got a little bit of crazy comments, but I was able to take them all away. But I don't think this week we should have any uh, bad comments. Um, Rico says, I think Friday way better. It's like an unwinding down type of vibe. Yeah, I think so too. I was going to have a little bit of wine, but I get a little, little, little tipsy if I were to drink wine. And so I want to make sure I'm very presentable in everything that I say. Uh, but who knows, maybe later I can pour some wine and be like unwind with Tasha K. She's kind of like a celebrity, kind of like, uh, like she does like videos and, and stuff. And so she always has like wines and stuff in her videos. So I'm always living for it. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, the pull-in bags have arrived. I'm li I'm living the life. You are so dangerous for your wallet. Yeah, I mean, I like the pull-in bags. The pull-in bags are good women in my collection. She's right there chilling next to Tori. <laughs> I like Friday nights since not dating. Did you see my Burberry bag? I have not seen it, but I will, will see it. We should do a Zoom, like Zoom, like us, uh, like a little bit of a handbag kind of like um, moment. Do you think of uh, like that? Um, I'm 20 and I got a new job and I, and have enough to buy Toy Lulu, but I am conflicted as such a large purchase or investing that money instead. Um, I know um, it's a very, very kind of like touchy. I would tell you, do whatever you think. Um, is best for you if that means you have to invest the money and you can get that bag later on um, do that but if you really want the bag and you're going to have the bag for a long time and it brings a lot of value to you then I would buy the bag honestly it would really really depend what you want but um, don't feel like you missed out if whatever choice you do don't feel missed out um, if you get the bag and you feel like you missed out on investing or you invested the money and then you feel bad because you wanted the bag and you wanted to use it in the moment. So um, I would just pick whatever, but there are pros and cons. So, um, um, but I don't know, life's too short. So I say get the bag, <laughs> get the toy Lulu. Uh, plus it's good Friday home this e this weekend for Easter. Yeah, a lot of people are home. There was a lot of traffic. I was at the mall earlier today and it was so crazy. Um, it was so, 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 so crazy. Um, come through fade yes 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 every friday i get a haircut every single friday i get a haircut um I, it's something new that i've been doing and i love it um do you use your designer items more than contemporary items depend on where you're going uh just whenever i feel the fantasy if i feel like i'm using the eye like like today um i did like a couple of shoots i took multiple pictures so i used different bags but today the actual bag that i used to go to the mall to run my errands with to go have lunch with my friend was my toy birch eleanor um it's just really what i feel like um like today I, I was really thinking i was gonna use my 19 bag but i wasn't feeling the 19 today so i was like you know girl the girls are gonna have a toy birch eleanor day so it really really depends i don't really think in my head like per, like let's say like price point like Oh, today I want to wear my five thousand dollars Chanel bag, or you know, a two hundred dollar handbag. Like that doesn't run through my mind. I feel like whatever I like, um, I feel like that's what I wear. But um, but no, I mean it just depends. But I just kind of wear whatever goes with the outfit that I'm wearing. Um, I am determined to buy Coach and Mark Jacobs bag this week. What bags are you looking for? Did you see that they're coming out with a mini pillow bag? I kind of really want the bag. I really, really want it. I feel like I could add it. And I hear it's coming in a lilac color. And I've been wanting the lilac color handbag 
So who knows? I may get a lilac colored handbag, um, but I would want to know which ones. Love my YSO Lulu. Um, see, we got somebody that says I love the YSO. Maya says Sergio. Maya. Uh, Silviana Martinez says hi, Sergio from Arlington, Texas. Hi from Dallas, Texas. We're not too far from each other. Super, super close. I'm scared to try investing. I just buy real estate and try TFSAs. I mean, yeah, I think everybody's to each its own. I feel like a lot of people want everything to be set in stone. Um, but I always tell people, do whatever works for you. Um, that's what I always tell people. Do whatever best works for you. How do you wash your designer clothes? Do you always dry clean them or any tips on how to wash at home? Um, for me, um, anything like this Burberry shirt, like the Burberry trench coat, anything that's technically designer, I take it to the dry cleaners. I do not want to run the risk of ruining the item, even if I got it for a good deal. Everything that's designer clothing goes to the dry cleaners. Um, you know, obviously I take good care of my clothes. I wear my clothes multiple times before I take it to the dry cleaners. I know some people are kind of iffy about that. It depends. If there's not a scene or anything that I can sanitize it, then I will um, we rewear it. Um, but as far as like like workout clothes or like even certain denim, I will wash it and I will let it hang dry. And I find hang drying uh, expands the longevity in the clothing. But for the most part, everything that is designer, I do um, take it to the dry cleaners because I feel like um, I just, for me, I, I want longevity in my clothes. So I don't mind spending like two, three, four dollars, especially you go like on those Tuesdays or whatever days that they're having a special, um, especially when you're taking like five plus garments, it's really worth the money. Um, we have, I still need an ice, I still need the bag. Um, oh, the Lulu. I mean, I love the Lulu puffer. I, I think it's so cute. Trying to pick out some white sneakers, Veja or Toy Birch, which ones could I find at a discount? The Toy Birch house sneakers do go on discount, but it's usually like the weird, not the weird colors, but the seasonal colors. And then the Vejas, I usually see them sometimes like they'll participate like on websites, like 10, 15% off if you sign up for emails. I would say those two don't really go super, super crazy, but at last call they do, I have seen both of those sneakers there. Um, I have coach bags and watches from the early 2000s. Yeah, coach was, I mean, I've always felt like coach has always been popular. Even when they were monogrammed out, they still have their classic leather handbags. And I feel like you can always go, um, you can go for whatever. Um, Rico says it depends on the mood and what you and what you put on for the day. Yeah, I agree. I, whatever I wear, it, it's just it, it's whatever I feel like it that day. Um, um, she has a story says Friday. I think Friday is a good one. Um, which is better, Coach or Tory Burch, as far as quality? Um, I think both are pretty good. I mean, as far as like longevity, like style designs. Um, obviously, Coach has been around a lot longer. Tory Burch compared to Coach, and um, as far as like history and heritage. Um, coach has, has been there a little bit further. Um, if you do want more kind of heritage, um, I would go for Coach. But as far as quality, I think they're both about the same. I think they all hold up really well as long as you take care of the handbag. Um, Lynn says, hi, Sergio. Have you seen the new Bottega colored Millard? Yeah, I have seen it. I think it's a really, 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 really pretty color. I'm still Bottega obsessed. I freaking love Bottega. Um, we have... Um, oh, I'm from Toronto. Uh, I heard the stores just open up in Toronto. Is that true or just in general? Um, I, I think somebody had told me that not too long ago. Um, if we can give this video a thumbs up, guys, if you haven't, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, Kate says, Lilac OMG. I've seen the lime green mini pillow, but lilac, yes, yeah. I heard that there's coming out with the baby lilac one, so I may, may have to get one. Lilac is a color that I've wanted to try, especially those Bottega colors in lilac. <sighs> They are so fire. They are so popping. I am here for them. Um, Maya says, hi from North Cali. So we got Cali in the house. We got everybody in the cow in the in the house. Brian, and he says, have you thought about doing a video on your home decor and decorating your new space? Yes, I have thought about doing it. My only thing is, is I don't want my layout of my apartment to be on YouTube and where people could find me. I'm very, very protective of of my space and so that's the only thing that i don't want to do and that's why i hesitated to do that and that's why i haven't did it before i move out of this space because i'm not going to renew my lease here i will film a video and i'll show you everything but that's honestly the real reason why is because 
Um, I don't want somebody, some crazy person to look out the layout and, you know, you never know, people are really, really crazy, even though it's kind of hard to get into the building. Um, I still wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to run the risk of that. Um, but it's something that I have been wanting to do, but, um, that's the only reason I think it's security. Um, but I will film one before I move out, which will be, um, later in the fall after my lease ends, if I'm keeping it all the way 100. Um, I love Fridays. Yeah, Fridays is the best day ever. I freaking, freaking love Friday. I saw the new coach back, but want to go in person to feel it out, you know? Yeah, I definitely want to see it in person, but it, but I, if I see a lilac, I'm going to drool all over it. Like, I already love my freaking coach pillow, so if I already see it in another color, I feel like I am going to go for it. Uh, hi, have a happy Easter. You too, you too. I mean, we're not that, we're super, super close from each other, so we're both going to put good energy. We're going to have a good um, Easter. Um we have how long did it take your how long did your till far take to get you to get to you from the purchase date? I ordered it like on a like on a Monday and I got it like on a Thursday. I got it the day before Christmas. So uh, like th I got it like four days and it came super, super fast. I think yeah, it, it had a confirmed signature. I shipped it to my parents' house, so they signed for it, but it came really, really fast. I got it the day before Christmas. I got it shipped like within two or three days or maybe even four days since I purchased it. So it came super, super, super fast. I'm going back shopping tomorrow and I don't know how to feel about the coach pillow bag. I've seen the extra large pillow bag, but I, may, I, but I think I'm gonna get the one or the Mason 19 with the Mickey Mouse on it. Oh, I do like the one with the Mickey Mouse on it. It's a nice novelty collection from coach. I do like it, but I mean, there's nothing like the pillow. I mean, you can't compare the pillow. I try to steamer iron myself, but expensive dress, yes, to the dry cleaners. Yeah, I can see, but for me, I don't know. I'm very, 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 you know, I just rather, I, I would never want to, uh, I mean, steaming is fine because nothing will happen, but if I like iron something, my worst fear is to like, like let it burn or something and it ruins the garment. So I never, I saw like an episode like on some TV show that happened before. I'm like, I'm not going to go through that. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I can't wait to wear my Gigi Marmont sandals, but wish I got the Dior slides. I like the Gigi uh, sandals. Um, I think I like the Gigi ones a little bit more than Dior, even though CD wanted the Dior ones. There are concerns with mass designer bag labor. I did not, like, what do you mean designer labor? Like, there's just a lot. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I never got into coach barely last year because they have stepped up on their designs and the simple fact I'm tired of Louis and Gucci. It seems uh, too commercial now. Yeah, like there was a big line at Louis Vuitton and Gucci when I was walking the mall today. Always, always, always. There's always lines. Um, it's always crazy. I'm like, I could never wait an hour in the lines for me to give somebody over $1,000. Absolutely not. I mean, that's just how I see it. Unless if it's some, like something super rare or, you know, or if I know an essay where I don't have, where I can just cut the line, I'll do that, but I'm not going to wait an hour in line. And it's really sad because if you want to go in to look at something, if you want to go to the Gucci boutique to try on bags and you wait an hour in line, you kind of feel pressure to buy something. And I feel like that's the environment that it is now ever since COVID. And so I feel bad because you can't really go and look into the store and window shop without feeling like you have to purchase something, especially if you wait an hour plus in line, in my opinion. Oh, we are going back on lockdown again. There is another increase in cases. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I, I could never see myself well here in Texas ever going back to that. It was it was kind of crazy um, the way everything's been going around. But take advantage of it. Take advantage of doing everything before you go, your guys go back out to um, back into lockdown. Miss Moni says, are you now a full time YouTuber? No, I am not. I wish, but I like the best of both worlds. You guys already know I manage like 50 million things. And so YouTube just happens to be one of them and I love it. It's one of the best fantasies ever. I feel like Hannah Montana. I feel like I have the best of 10 worlds. I get to be whatever, who I can do, whatever and who I feel. I can feel like I can be whoever I want to be every single day. I'm a different person, different mindsets, different fantasies. Uh, Thomas says, hi from Italy, hi from Dallas. After Easter, they're shutting the city. Ooh, take advantage of the weekend, babe. Do whatever you need to get done. Um, M. Garcia says, yes, do not show your home and apartment. It, it Keep it a secret. Yeah, like I said, I would love to show it, but there's just, I've seen a lot of crazy things happen down and um, and that's just how I am. But I will be, um, I will show everything. Like I said, my name is Sergio Secret for a reason. I have a lot of secrets. 
And actually, in the next couple months, I'm going to be revealing one of my biggest, biggest, biggest secrets ever. So stay tuned. Biggest secret. Um, I really like how you are posting more different brands other than the famous brands like Chanel and the others. Have you heard of Kate? Kate? I'm surprised no one really knows about it. I have not, but I will look them up and see what's up with their brand. Your place is Sergio's secret. That's what Elena says. Um, yeah, <laughs> you read my mind. Hindi says, um, a Givenchy mini Antigona pink. Oh, yes, it is so pretty. I, I, I mean, I, I've always been a fan of the Antigona until I checked Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to check them out and see what's up with that brand because I've never heard of it until you just mentioned it. Tara Thomas from Italy. I'm Sicilian. Oh, because Sicily, right? That's like a city in Italy. Um, Jorge says, OMG Sergio, we love you in this Burberry shirt. You're giving me the best vibe, sister. Love you and your vids. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Jorge. Means the absolute world to me. Thank you for being on this live stream. I um, Rico says, I feel you on that because some crazy people out here. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. Um, let's see. Burberry says, I had hazelnut latte Starbucks, so I'm happy today. I had a chai tea latte today, so I was so happy too. And girl, the little things that make me so happy in life. Kenya says, I don't feel like you have to share everything. Draw a line in the sand. Yeah, I feel like I like to draw a line in the sand. Like, I don't share every everything. Like, I haven't showed any of my family members. I haven't really shown a lot. I mean, you could, I tag my friends on Instagram and stuff, but I haven't shown everything as I would want to. Um, and everything has its time. I feel like even now I'm opening more up in 2021. I feel like even in 2020, I was very... Now I wouldn't use the word secretive, but I was very reserved. And now like I'm doing live streams and stuff. So slowly by slowly, I am opening up a lot more, but um, but I do still have a set in stone kind of where I draw the line. Um, but but thank you for saying that because a lot of people uh, just feel like you, they're, they're entitled to know any and everything about you. So uh, thank you so much for saying that. Um, let's see, do models get free designer clothes since they are paid to wear the brands? Um, yes or no. If it's a shoe, it could be samples, and those samples are going through different publications, different places. Um, they, a lot, a lot of like those bloggers where you see like fold your outfits, and they don't really get to keep all that stuff. Maybe they'll keep like one item, but nine times out of ten, they all ship it back up, and all those are samples to go. So like if you look at the tag, it's gonna say sample on the inside. But it really depends the relationship within you and the brand. Um, that's how I see it. Um, I think your white shelf is the best. Yes, we love this IKEA shelf, 50 bucks each, three Billy bookcases put together. I may get a fourth one maybe, but um, yeah, literally $150 for this Billy bookcase. So you can have the, the Sergio Secret Fantasy for $150 from IKEA. Uh, Ciao, Burberry, Reclaire. So oh, they said something in Italian. Uh, Kate says, I'm obsessed with the Coach pillow bag. I have an orange and green. I love them. Oh my God. Yes, I, I mean, I'm living for my pillow bag. I really 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 like it um but the mini one i cannot wait for it to come out uh, let's see why does michael kors copy gucci in the soho name um i'm not sure i mean i think soho in general like soho is like a uh, you know in new york and so technically you can't really trademark that i mean I, that's what i'm just thinking right now so i feel like that's why um they have the same name but since they're not the same handbag or the same silhouette they don't really have a case so that's how i see it um, do you like Telfar? Yes, yes, yes. I love Telfar. I have my little Telfar bag right there. She's chilling with um, two other handbags right there. Um, as, um, CV says, um, sending you good vibes from Los Angeles. How do you compare Uniqlo Basics to Theory and Vince Basics? Um, do you buy women's basics in Uniqlo and what's your sizing there? Um, so I believe that Uniqlo and Theory are from the same company. Somebody told me that and I did research that. I believe that's true. I could be completely wrong, but I believe that they are the same, like the same kind of company. Um, for Uniqlo women's, I tend to be a smaller medium. And for men's, uh, I can do extra small, small. I just really like my things really fitted, um, even though... Um, it may not look cute, especially for first pieces. I prefer the, for them to be fitted. And maybe like pieces like this, they could be like a size, my size or size bigger. Um, Uniqlo, I mean, Uniqlo basics, you can never really go wrong with. Um, I have all, all, from all three, and I, I'm just as happy wearing my $15 Uniqlo shirt, just as much as wearing an $85 uh, Vince basic if I'm keeping all the way 100. So um, I feel like it, it's just, um, I wouldn't say it's exactly the same, but um, the quality is really, really there for Uniqlo. I live my Gucci Jackie. Oh, I love the Jackie. I would get a vintage Jackie if I were to get one. Um, 
Ariel says, hi, do you like Tom Ford fragrances? Yes, yes, yes. This is the fragrance that I'm going to be wearing tonight. It's a discontinued one, Tom Ford Noir. Uh, Ombre Leather is also a really great one. But yes, girl, I'm going to give the girls a uh, Tom Ford uh, fragrance moment. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this top tonight. I think I'm going to wear another one. I think I just kind of want to wear this for the live stream. I'm not really sure. Elena says, you look really young. Oh, thank you. I feel like with that, now that I have like haircut and brows and now that I like talk a lot more, I feel like I look a lot more younger and I feel like I used to look a little bit more mature. Well, maybe when I just have my face, face mask on, but that's how I feel. Um, I heart luck zero seven says, have you seen the Troy Birch Ella Sway toe in person? If, if so, do you think it's worth 628? Yes, but I would spray it down. It looks like it could get dirty very, 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 very easily. Um, but um, I think, I mean, if you're going to use it, you're going to get your money's worth then I would say yes. If it's just another bag to add to your collection, to add to another collection, I would hold off on it. But I do think it's a really beautiful bag. It's, I think suede for spring and summer, especially that tone is really good. And then you can wear it in the fall. Oh my God, that'd be such a really pretty fall bag. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, relax, you seem a bit tense. Yes, I am. I mean, I don't know. I'm just a little, um, you know, I'm, I'm new to doing live stream now, but... Um, I am trying to be a little bit more calm. Um, Rico says, hey, is that like everyone and their mama and their grandma lines be ridiculous? I have some of the people who all of a sudden buying Louis now think that they're using their stimulus money. Shake my head. I mean, I will say that weekend was pretty, pretty busy. I mean, not saying like that, but it was a busy weekend um, whenever everybody started getting their stimulus check. Um, but it was busy. Maya says, a frog with a tea. Yes, girl, we're spilling some tea. Uh, love my Gucci cream super small bag with the chain strap. It matches my GG belt and cream thong sandals. I do like the cream GG thong sandals. My mom have asked me about it um, if she if, if if that's something that she should buy. Uh, I told her if, if she likes it, go for it. But my mom is really like a Miller girl. She really loves the Tory Burch Miller sandals. Um, Aim Garcia says, "Have you? What do you think of uh, the Kiana brand? Many people here in New York wears those bags." Um, I think we talked about it. I'm going to look it up right now. Um, give me one second. I mean, I think they're very clean, very simple, um, but I mean, it's classic. You can never go wrong with it. Uh, I will be doing my homework on that. And thank you for letting me know that a lot of people in New York wear that because here in Texas, um, it, it a lot of people wear the, kind of like the same thing. It's very bread and butter here in Texas, in my opinion. Sicily is Southern Italy. I was saying hi to Thomas. Uh, Kathleen says, what is your full-time job? I'm trying to get into the fashion luxury, but don't know how. I've been applying for internship, but I haven't heard back. Uh, any tips? Uh, I, would, I would try to be friends with people on LinkedIn. Um, and if you have one friend that even like knows something, I would hop into it because you never, everybody in the industry kind of knows each other. Obviously, like, for example, here, Neiman Marcus is all here, here in Dallas. So you get to talk, like you get to just interact with people just going out. So if I go out tonight, I don't know who I'm going to have a conversation with. Uh, I will try to get one connection and that you never know what that connection would lead you in. I think, um, networking, I think will will get you where you want to be. Um, that's what I've learned. I think it's not really like applying, it's like who you know uh, really, really helps you out. Um, that's all, that's what I would say. I would say kind of um, social, social networking will help you out. Um, what do you think about Strathberry? I love Strathberry, I used to have a baby Strathberry. Um, I loved it, it did get scratched a little bit. I'm working on a video on a popular, I mean, designer handbag brands under a thousand dollars that aren't super super popular and strathberry is going to be mentioned in that video i do like strathberry i think that they're very clean very elegant um and megan Markle wears it so why not like i i think they're really pretty bags especially the little stylus with the chain i love that you can take the chain off and wear it as a little clutch i think that is so adorable love your videos i'm latina too yeah latina gang up in here is it worth buying the gucci um vanity case um, but can you do a vanity on how to transform it with chains? Yes, my friend Haley bought a Dior like lip gloss set, and uh, she's gonna make it into a bag. So um, I'm gonna tell her how she does it, and I'm gonna I'll, if if she likes it, I'm gonna show it to you on the channel how to do it. Um, but I have been looking at a vanity bag to buy. Um, actually, I was trying to I went I made a couple phone calls to try to pull some strings to get 
a Chanel vanity bag, but they're all sold out. So um, um, I just said it. I was trying to get one today. <laughs> uh, I have a small Kiwana makeup bag and the quality is so nice. Yeah, it seems like a really good um, quality handbag. Um, like just by the pictures and like whatever I looked up right now, they seem like very kind of core handbags. Uh, Kenya says, thought on Versace. I'm dreaming of Versace biker jacket and a black Medusa dress. I've been kind of here for the Versace fantasy now that I've been going out a lot more. I definitely love like those little statement pieces, not something that I would wear during the day, if I'm being honest, but like uh, like wearing like a silk Versace shirt um, during the nighttime. I think that is so pretty. I think it's so like appropriate for nighttime. Like I, I'm really starting to like Versace. I'm really starting to warm up with them, even like some of their older vintage pieces. Um, but Versace has been a brand that I've been checking more and more and usually show it usually it wasn't a brand that I would check for I have the little Medusa glasses and that was it but now I'm willing to uh, add some Versace to my collection um, Do you ever feel pressure to keep shopping for content? Uh, no, not really. I think everything kind of falls into my lap um, I don't feel like I have to keep on buying because there is vlogs where I don't buy anything or I buy one item um, I just keep in mind uh, wherever I go to and try to be uh, courteous. So I would never go into a boutique and spend an hour and waste somebody's time and not buy anything or buy something and then return it. Because I know a lot of people in the luxury community do that. I personally don't do that. I mean, I have done like try and hauls and like I order things from online and maybe I'll buy them in two sizes and I return one. But um, no, I try to keep it pretty transparent here. I'm not, I'm not one of those type of people that buys a bunch of stuff and then returns it um, because a lot of people do that for keeping it all the way 100. Um, I saw the Gucci enamel snake ring. Oh, I do like I do like Gucci's jewelry and I do see a lot of it at TG Maxx. You can get a really great deal on it, especially when it goes to um, um, yellow tag. I have a vintage brown Burberry coat and it's still in perfect condition. Yeah, Burberry clothing is really good. It's really, really, really good quality. I really, really do like um, Burberry Ready to Wear. I think they do really good cl clothing. I have the brown coat. I bought it last year in the summer sale. I have the 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 plaid one, and I really like it. And I think Burberry clothing they do really phenomenally well. Uh, Renee says, I "Absolutely love your style. If you don't have clothes that you don't want, send them my way. I'm from a, I'm informal hand hygienist, but became sick and unable to purchase any more." Uh, since on SSDI, yes, I will be listing um, the rest of the stuff on Poshmark, and whatever doesn't sell, I do. I will probably put like a bag together because I don't really want a lot of. I don't want the things to go back into my closet. They're hanging on a rack. I just haven't had a chance to go through everything, but um, hopefully by next Friday everything should be listed and whatever's kind of hanging around. Uh, I could I could kind of give because. Um, I, I don't really want it back into my collection. Um, I love Barracot 540 Rouge. I get a lot of compliments. I've heard a lot about the fragrances. I have smelled it before, and that's something that I do want to try. The only thing is both fragrances. I like to marry a fragrance. I don't like to have, like, 50 perfumes. I think maybe I have, like, six or seven perfumes that I love, or maybe even less. I think even five. And so I really, really try to go for those perfumes that I really, really enjoy. But uh, I've had heard a lot of things about Barracot. I got the Coach Pillow bag because of because I saw you talk about it and I, I love it so far. Yeah, I think the pillow bag is so cute. I think it is so adorable. I I love the little pillow bag. Uh, if you guys give this video thumbs up, thumbs up, I appreciate it. Um, the Classy Code says, I love your channel. I love the video, what you did about when it's appropriate to wear your luxury bags. I'm always self-conscious about that. I get that quite a lot. I always tell people, um, just wear whatever you wanna wear, what, where, wherever, whenever. Obviously, keep it appropriate at times. Like, I'm not going to wear this shirt if I'm doing charity work. Um, but I would just just live your moment, live your fantasy. And I, I wear whatever I is, feel like is appropriate, but I'm not going to not wear something because it's going to make somebody uncomfortable. I, I dress for the occasion, but I always make sure I look good and I, I wear whatever I want. And if somebody has a problem with it, what other people think about you is, no, is, none, of their, is none of my business. So if somebody critiques me, that's on them. That's their business. Um, let's see, let's see. For Sergio and everyone, I have I have asked this in IG, but has anyone purchased the Gucci Horsebit Mini for twenty five thirty two and it comes with two straps? Is it worth it? Um, I have seen somebody have it and she really likes it. I think it's a good handbag that you can have for a while. Like the the silhouette is classic. You can pull it out from your closet from like 
two years from now to 20 years from now to further out, if you see the value in it and it is a very classic looking handbag, then I would go for it in my honest opinion. I have an Alexander McQueen SOG. I wonder if there will be new bags from Alexander, well, from I think Alexander McQueen. Um, yeah, I don't know, the Alexander McQueen collection that I have been liking, they came out with this really pretty transparent bag, but it was 1990. It was a little bit more on the pricey side. Um, but I do like McQueen bags, but um, I don't know. I think McQueen is still very underrated. I know their sneakers are popular, but I think everything else doesn't get talked about. I know the scars were talked about a while back, but not as much uh, as they are now. I think really now it's just the sneakers and maybe a bag here and there. Um, hi, love. Enjoying your content. What is your opinion on the white silk camera bag button cream? Not sure how it hold up being such a light color. If you don't wear a lot of denim, I don't think you should have an issue. Um, the only thing is it will catch with denim over time. So for me, um, I would just make sure that you take care of it. And if you do wear denim, I would personally not go for them. For me, I have I have like the cream bag and I try to be careful with denim, but denim will ruin any white bag, um, especially if it's new denim and it hasn't been washed a certain amount of times. Um, Becky says, hi, Sergio, love your content. Thank you so much, Becky, appreciate it. Um, I want to buy a great tote, but not LV. Have you tried the MCM list tote? I think that's a really great comparable handbag. I really, really do like it. Um, I think I'm thinking about to start up my Fendi collection. It's something about Fendi that keeps pulling me to buy. Um, I like Fendi, I'm very here and there. I will say if I were to buy a Fendi bag, it'd be a baguette or it'd be a peekaboo. I think those are some of my favorite bags from Fendi. Um, she has a story. What are your thoughts on costume designer, costume jewelry? I don't, I only have one item. It's this Dior friendship bracelet. I don't, I wouldn't personally buy one any right now. I love a little bit more sterling silver and up or vermeil up. I don't think it's worth it for the price point. I'd much rather buy something from like uh, Tiffany or Lagos or anything like that. I personally don't see myself checking for it anytime soon, but I, I mean, I do think they make really pretty fine jewelry. I'm pretty costume jewelry, but it's not fine at the end of the day. So for me, I'd much rather have the fine over the costume, and regardless of what who makes the costume jewelry. Um, but a uh, Vivian Westwood necklace is something that I can see myself getting as well. Um, RTG Max in Toronto, we call winners, has a huge runway markdown. So, um, oh, I think they are. I mean, I guess if they are closing, they want to sell through all the items. So I'm pretty sure that they um, want to sell through that, especially if they're going to um, close again because you're from Toronto. Um, so I would take advantage of it. Do you like the batch from Poland? Do you plan to buy more from that brand? Um, yes, I do plan on adding another Poland handbag. I'm not sure on the time frame, just because I had just added the number nine, but I definitely do want to add another one in my collection. I just want to have the moments with all, I, per, I have a lot of new handbags that I just purchased. So I want to appreciate all the bags that I have right now, but I do see myself. Um, House of Sid, Sid says, hola. Love that you feature lots of coaches that are timeless. How do you feel about the Coach Outlet? I always get lots of nice bags and great deals. I love the Coach Outlet. I think the Coach Outlet has like a lot of great bags. Um, I saw a really pretty denim one that I saw the other day. I forgot what collection it was, but it was a denim one. It was like 120. I thought it was so pretty. It was like two shades of denim. Um, I love it both. I like off price and full price. Um, I like that in off price, they have like many fun collections. I know the full price does too, but I think they do some pretty cool collections on, on the off price market for coach, but um, I love both of them. Uh, I know that it is made for the outlet and some people feel some type of way for me. If I like it and I, and I expect in the bag and I, and I like it, then I will buy it. I used to be very, very, I mean, I would much rather have a full price style handbag than off price, but if I like it at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, Anna says vegan, all other bag recommendations. We have Stella McCartney, we have JWPEI, we have Telfar. Um, I think there's a brand called Angela ROI. I, I've seen that brand on pop up on my Instagram. Those are four, and you actually took that away from me because I'm making a vegan bag video um, segment towards the end of the month. So you'll see that video coming right up. Um, but those are some of the top brands. But I think Stella makes some really good vegan bags, but I would always check um, the pre-love market for Stella. When I go into boutique, I have in mind what I'm going to buy in less than 15 minutes. There's no way I would be in a boutique for hours. Yeah, a lot of people go into boutiques and browse and 
uh, and, or they feel pressured and they have to go back in line because I have seen people have like Gucci bags or Louis Vuitton bags and they have to wait another hour just to even for them to process their return. So um, I don't know. I feel like they should maybe change it. I don't really know. But yeah, I mean, I have seen people just literally browse literally for a while. Um, Mia says, or Maya says, hi, Sergio, what do you think about lines that are collaboration celebrities like Ivy Park? I like them. Um, like I like the Ivy Park, maybe not for me to buy just because a lot of it is kind of like I have to buy like a full set for it. And for me, um, sometimes like if I were to use a full set, I feel like I, I would kind of get bored of it. Uh, I would love for them to do maybe more core, but core doesn't really sell. It's not outstanding. They want to do fun pieces. Um, I like them and I can see why people like them, but I haven't. I had, used to have Ivy Park when it was associated with Topshop. Um, but now that it's associated with Adidas, I have not purchased anything from Ivy Park, but I do think their line is pretty cool. Um, Cropper says, what is your official uh, Poshmark account? It is Sergio Secrets. Um, do you consider doing or video promoting other luxury YouTubers you like? Um, I did a huge purge of YouTubers that are show excessive unboxing and unrealistic lifestyles. Um, I, I, I answered this question um, last week about YouTubers that I watch. I really don't watch a lot of other luxury YouTubers. I wouldn't even consider myself a luxury YouTuber. I think I'm just myself and I don't want to box myself into that. Um, but um, I, when I watch a YouTuber, I go into, I don't, I go into the intentions of um, some of them I can relate to, some of them I don't, uh, but something I just appreciate what they're showing and what they like, but I never feel like I have to keep up or buy, because I know a lot of people are like that, where they feel like they have to keep up, they have to keep up with the Joneses, and for me, um, you know, I do buy things like a trend bag, like a pillow bag, but, you know, I also have handbags like that are technically considered out of style for many luxury YouTubers, like a Givenchy Antigona, so I kind of stay in my own lane, but I really don't watch a lot of other luxury YouTubers if I'm keeping it all the way 100. I watch like Lovely T on one with Tasha K. I watch more kind of like those type of videos, um, but as far as the, the only luxury YouTuber that I could say I really like is Sophie Sohet, and what's the one? It's called like Chanel something. She just had a baby, and Mel Sol Solera. I think she's from Canada. No, she is from Canada. I think those are the three that really pop in in my head but everybody else i kind of don't kind of super keep up with a lot of like the luxury youtube luxury youtubers i'm being honest um how do i contact you at my email uh, on my last video just send me an email there um are you open to gucci now i'm considering that hermes click clack should i buy a bag instead of something else of 900 in the bracelet yeah i don't think the click clack is worth it in my opinion uh i had a friend that had it and she trashed it one weekend and Every time I see it, I see like the little nicks on them. I mean, she still wears it. I don't think it's worth it. I would go for something. But I, I mean, I, I've always liked Gucci, but um, right now for handbag, I don't see myself adding one. Uh, but a, vin a vintage Jackie is something that I'm open to. Uh, but I have Gucci loafers. I have a Gucci wallet. And I, I mean, I do like the items that I do have from Gucci. Um, I'm scared to go into a store and look. I don't want to waste anyone's time, but I also don't want to feel pressured to buy in because I want to... I want to see something in person. Do you feel the same? Yeah, you literally, that's what I was saying. That's exactly how I feel. I don't really like to go a lot to the boutiques because I don't want to feel like I'm wasting somebody's time. But then I also want to inquire about merchandise. Uh, I think there needs to be some sort of balance. I don't know what that is, but uh, I definitely, definitely agree with you, especially when you wait like 30 minutes in line. You're like, well, I'm already here. I might as well buy some. Or you feel pressure. The social shit will like, you know, because certain social shoots are very pushy. Um, and some of them are not. It also depends on the essay that you get assigned to. Um, Becky says, uh, you made me want to buy the Coach Pillow Tabby, uh, but 8VS just spent a load of money on the Tofar Security Program. Um, I mean, I, you did a really good choice on Tofar Security Program. I wasn't buying another bag, but I was like, no, I'm actually really happy with the one that I have. But I mean, the Coach Pillow Tabby bag is always there, but the only thing about the Tofar Security Program, it's gonna be a while for you to get it. So. Um, I mean, you can have the coach one now and live the coach fantasy. And then when you get them, you have the Tofar bags. I have a couple of JW pay bags. I am wondering if you like yours. Also amazing content, wishing you the best. Yeah, I, I like it. I think it's so cute. One of my friends who only has designer handbags, like when I two, she only has designer handbags. She only wears designer. She's been wearing that bag and she loves it. So if she has it, that's mean, that means it speaks a lot. 
Um, Becky says, what do you think of the Hermes Oron sandals? My okay. right foot does not fit in them. That's why I have to wait forever, girlies, to get um, to get a Troy Birch, uh, the Cloud Miller sandals. If I do get the Hermes sandals, I have to get the men's style because they're more wider. But I love them. I think they're so beautiful. It, my white fat foot can fit into them. Best to believe I already had a pair. But I love them, and I think they're worth the money. Absolutely, 100% yes. Um, I love quality from Italy, but scared to wear my designer puffer at work. Uh, are you scared because you feel like people are going to critique you or what's up? I want to hear uh, why. Um, hi there, Dina from Toronto. Love watching you. Stay safe. Thank you for the good videos you share here. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, be safe out there. I heard y'all guys are going to go on lockdown. Uh, please, please be safe. Brian, and he says, you briefly mentioned thrifting in a previous video. Is that still in the works? Yes, it's still in the works. I'm trying to bring one of my friends that actually does thrifting on the channel because she will guide me through everything and we can kind of kiki with the girls type of vlog. Um, but um, I'm waiting for her availability to clear up a little bit, but it is in the works and it will be done. Um, if it's not in April, definitely before the end of May. I think I want to do like Plato's Closet and then actual like thrifting, like where they have like things for 50 cents, like where it drops a quarter every day. But I, I definitely do want to do a little bit of everything or maybe even like a thread up online haul, uh, but we shall see. But I am, the whole thrifting concept is very big and I can really be creative with how I want to do it. Um, but I am opening and I will be doing that. Uh, hopefully I have it planned for the, as a segment at the end of the month. If not, it will definitely be coming in May. Uh, would you say they have made for outlet only? Um, I, are we talking about um, why so? Cause you mentioned puffer. No, I mean, they have like a little bit, but not a whole lot. I think 10% is outlet and 90% is full price. But if you ask the essays, they'll tell you. Um, hey, do they have a good selection in bags in the Gucci outlets in San Marcos? I have I have one in mind. They have a pretty good handbag selection. I'm not going to lie. They, they really, really do have one. Um, I, I've been to other Gucci outlets, and I think that they have a really good selection there. I would go when they first open, though, because there is really big lines. It, on the weekends, even if you, I would recommend going early. Cardmaster said, what happened to your pretty raspberry colored YSL mini camera bag? I sold that during the summertime last year. I sold it in a vlog sale. I really, really liked it, but I just didn't get a lot of wear on the color. But I still dream about that. And, um, and yeah, it went to a new home. But I sold that uh, during the summertime. Uh, Angela Roy is being leather, so is Matt and Nat. Yeah, that's another brand that I was missing. And also Dagny Dover um, does like a lot of bags. They're kind of like stiff, uh, stiff kind of leather. But I think it's technically like coated canvas. It's not actual leather. So I will check Dagny Dover as well. Uh, when are we meeting your mom? Yesenia Ramirez says, I'm not sure. I, we've talked about it. She does not want to um, be on camera just yet. Um, but everything has its time and she will be on camera. We'll probably end up doing like a Tory Burch haul or something because, you know, I always talk about her and Tory Burch. Um, we don't have lots of good designer outlets in Toronto, plus tax is too high. Yeah, tax in Toronto is crazy. Um, but um, I hear there's like good samples as in Toronto. I, I have heard about that before. Um, I highly recommend, um, let's see, let's see. I highly recommend Cillian McCartney. The quality is amazing. The chain itself is multicolored when looking closely. I approve. Yeah, I think Cillian McCartney does really pretty bags. I love, love, love Cillian McCartney. Um, I only have two pieces of clothing, but I'm satisfied with those pieces. Camila Canvas says, I'm cooking and your life is keeping me company. New Sabi, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you for watching this live stream. Appreciate it. Uh, I really want you to be part of, part of Oxford Shoes, but I'm hesitant to buy them because it's summer old. Almost. I mean, I think an Oxford never really goes out of style. If it was a boot, I would say probably not. But I think an Oxford, kind of like a loafer type style, I think you could ever, um, you could, you can never go wrong with that. Like my Gucci loafers, I wear them all the time. Why don't you buy things from Adidas and Nike? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I think I see my brother wear it, and my brother's a big like Nike, Adidas, like all those brands. It's just not my cup of tea. I definitely prefer Sweaty Betty. I definitely prefer Aloe a lot more. Like, I don't have Nike shoes. Like, for me, Nike shoes aren't really comfortable. I have a wide foot. And so, for me, I find Asics are the most comfortable shoes. And in Brooks, for me. So, um, I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. I, I, like, I, I don't own any. I only have one pair of Cortez, but they're going to be on Poshmark. Other than that, I don't really care for Nike like that. I'm being honest. Like, even the new releases and stuff, like, all the collaborations – 
I just don't care for Nike. Um, and it's also because I worked at Kohl's and I would get everything 90% off. So I wouldn't buy Nike if it's not like 80 or 90% off because when I worked at Kohl's, I would work markdown shifts and anything that was 90% off, I would buy no questions asked, even if it was a, not even my size. So I feel like that's why, because I was so spoiled getting things 90% off that when I would get tennis shoes for eight, $9, I, I just don't see myself spending like full price on it or even like half off if I'm being honest. But my my time could change on it if I'm being honest. Um, outland malls near Toronto are close to the US border or Halton Hills. Um, do they have good stores there? Do they have like designer stuff? Um, definitely let me know. Um, for me, I definitely have to go to San Marcos to definitely get uh, designer stores. Here in Dallas, there's not really a lot of designer designer stores. I think the, the best thing that we have here is Last Call, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Uh, Miss Watkins put a little tea. Yes, we're spilling some tea. Renee says, do you watch Karen Britt Chic? I am subscribed to her, uh, but I don't, I watch her videos from time to time, but not all her videos. Uh, that just reminded me, uh, Hi Lil Lux, I do watch all her videos. I never miss any one of her videos. I do watch all, all, all her videos. Oh, and Monroe Steel too. I, I watch, um, I just started kind of watching a lot of her videos because she does kind of vlog styles. Her is really great too, but I wouldn't really consider them luxury YouTubers. I kind of consider them more lifestyle YouTubers because you get to see more aspects of them. Um, but Karen Britt Chic, I am subscribed to her, but I haven't watched all, all her videos. I think I've watched like a few. I think the first one that I watched is when she did like an Hermes unboxing video. I can't decide what I'm going what I'm going to purchase for my first designer bag. Check the Y sale that you highly recommend. Love it. I'm but I'm still on I'm still undecided. I think that the Berber, I mean, I think that the Y sale, any handbag from Y sale, as long as it's in a great material, I think you can never go wrong with. Uh, thank you so much for uh dialing about that click clack. Um, I think that the click clack's not worth it, if, if I'm being honest. I mean, I'm just be keeping all the way 100. Uh, borders closed, I think. Oh, yeah, the border. Oh, I didn't know that the border was closed in Canada. Um, let's see. I can't find the Poshmark page. Is it possible for you to post a link? If you go on my uh, last YouTube video, if you check the description box, I have the link right there if you want to check it. Um, thank you so much for reading my message. Stay safe. Oh, yeah, anytime, anytime. Uh, let's see. I'm a plus size girl and I've noticed that designer crossbodies are not plus size friendly. Any suggestions? Yeah, a lot of crossbodies usually just have like that one, but I have noticed that a lot more bags have starting to do a little bit more holes. Like the Gucci Marmot, the newer styles, they have holes on them. Um, I would, I would just try to find, because like certain bags are starting to come a little bit more longer sizes. Um, I would say for suggestions, I mean, like the YSO Wallet on Chain, the 1350 one, that one's a really long chain. The Chanel Wallet on Chain is a really long chain. Uh, I would kind of look around, but I would say those two are kind of the ones that I see that have uh, longer chains on them, um, if that's what you're looking for. Um, I think those two are a really good choice, but I prefer the YSO over the Chanel one. Um, are you into models or modeling at all? Uh, I'm, I'm into models. Like I'm kind of, I know who people are, but modeling, no. I, I think that's too much of a crazy lifestyle that I don't want to get into. Um, but I definitely appreciate all the people that do it. Uh, yes, I'm scared because I wore my uh, Mechanist Winter Long Maxi with my cream cashmere scarf and I was uh, coming in behind my back. Oh, uh, I mean, I for me, I would just be, I wouldn't care what other people say. I would just, you know, just keep it moving, just be like this and then just keep it moving and kiki with the girls. New to your channel. Hi, Sergio, thanks for all the tips. I'm learning a lot. Oh, thank you so much for being to the live stream, Anne. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, SN from New York City, wondering what your thoughts are about David Yerman. I love David Yerman. Uh, I think David Yerman does really pretty jewelry. I don't have any David Yerman. I have given David Yerman as Christmas presents and birthday presents, um, but I'm more of a Lagos type of girl. I know they're kind of, kind of the same customer, kind of same jewelry-ish, but I'm definitely more of a Lagos girl, but I do love David Yerman and I do really appreciate a lot of their collections and lines that they have. I think it's a very respectable jewelry line. It's something that you can have and you can appreciate and you can have for many years to come. Um, Tara says, are you planning on buying anything the fashion, are you planning on buying anything that the fashion file is still going on? I had a few things on my list, but for right now, I don't think I'm going to buy anything from the Fashion File sale. I'll go through the website one more time, um, but right now I don't. I was open to a couple bags, but 
I don't know. I kind of keep going back and forth, back and forth. And then the next last call event, I actually, right now, uh, I just got the text message for my essay. Um, I'm going to give you guys, you'll see me there. Um, April 28th is the next last call event, and it is going to be a shoe and a handbag event. So for me, I'm going to wait till that and see what happens. Uh, I believe they open at 11. I will be there at 9 in the morning. I'll be the first one there. So I'm already putting it on the universe. So if you want to go to last call, you want to see me, you want to kiki with the girls, be there two hours early. I'm probably going to have my little cat in my little chair, sit my little fat self down, and I'm going to be there. But right now, no, because I definitely want to wait for uh, the Neiman Marcus reveal. Um, Sophia says, I'm deciding uh, between getting Gucci loafers or Chanel Espejos. I love to hear thoughts on which one you prefer. I would I was gonna get Chanel Espejos like three years ago. My wide foot does not fit in them. Like literally when I put them on, like right here, all my fat was coming out. It was so embarrassing when the essay had to bring it out and it looked like that. I know they have kind of like men's versions, but I was just there and it was really embarrassing. Uh, Gucci loafers all the way. I think Espejos in general uh, get wear very easily. I know you can have your Chanel Espejos for years, but I'm more of a Gucci loafer type of girl. Um, Queen of Diamonds says, what do you think of the old Gucci Suki bags and the Jacquard or just Jacquard Gucci bags in general? Oh, I love it. I, I love old Gucci items. Gucci Suki bag. I had a friend that had one. I think it was so pretty. I think the old school ones, I feel like um, I think they're more easily styled than a lot of the newer Gucci bags, but I always appreciate um, Gucci handbags in general. But I do like it, uh, but I feel like if it's styled correctly, uh, sorry, I, you can wear whatever you want with it, but I do like it. And I remember growing up, one of my uh, mom's friend had a Suki bag, um, and I, she still has it till this day. The only thing is I think hers had like corner wear because of the fabric. Um, David Yerman is overpriced. Uh, I mean, I can see where you're coming from, but I mean, I mean, I think that's a whole industry for being honest. Um, Kenya says, uh, favorite shows at the moment. I actually don't watch TV. I don't own a TV. I only really watch YouTube videos, if I'm being honest. Like, I know people talk about, like, Shirts Creek, uh, Grey's Anatomy. I don't even know, like, all these different shows or even, like, Netflix. I don't have a Netflix account. I really don't watch TV. I wish I would, but I'm more of a YouTube type of girl. Uh, I love to watch it like vlogs. I like to watch like Lovely T, like her live streams that are three hours watching it as a playback. Like I love to watch more like that. So I really, really don't watch TV shows, um, but I do have Disney Plus. I, I may watch like a like a old movie here and there or like Google, let's watch Shrek or like Finding Nemo or something like that. But no, I don't really watch any TV shows. Um, do they ship from the outlet from Gucci store? Yes, they do. I would call during a weekday, but they do. Um, Jorge says, I freaking love you. Thanks for sharing. Oh, love you too, Jorge. Daily Ruby says, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, Burberry says, I am not a model. Uh, Daily Review says, love your bag. Maya says, aloe is the best. Yeah, I love aloe. I think aloe does uh, really good workout stuff. I've been really appreciating aloe stuff and I have a haul video coming up and I purchased some fun aloe clothing as far as with Sweaty Betty as well. What do you think of the rock set pouch bag in black leather? My friend just purchased along with the cage stilettos. Um, I love it. I know some people may say that rock studs are out of style or they're not as popular. I still love me a good rock stud. I think rock stud and Valentino go hand in hand and I'm living for that rock stud fantasy. I'm here for it. Um, Hey, do you think that the Coach Tabby will go out of fashion? I think the silhouette is very classic. I can see the, the pillow being a little bit more on the trendy side, but I think the silhouette of both bags, they're like a baguette style. I think that the style is very classic, so I personally don't think so, but it's whatever uh, you would think, but I think that they're not. Uh, also, Sergio, what's your thoughts on the trendy CC versus Chanel classic flap? I've been a little bit on the Chanel... Um, I've been on a little bit of the Chanel trend lately i've been talking to a couple essays like i said i was trying to get a certain chanel handbag today i was not able to get my hands on it i got offered a trendy cc in a really pretty green color um in lambskin but the trendy cc is only comes in in lambskin and i'm just really bad with lambskin especially if it's over five thousand dollars i'd rather not do it i'd much rather go for a chanel classic flap or a boy or a 19 or a coco handle I think I prefer those more than the trendy CC just because it's lambskin leather and it's very, very uh, delicate. I totally want Chanel espadrilles. Uh, I mean, I love Chanel espadrilles. I appreciate them, but they don't fit my white foot. Uh, Joaquin says, I see you on Monroe and lovely tea. Oh yeah, I mean, 
I I just started getting like I was subscribed to her, but I, like now that she's moving to Miami, I'm like, okay, I'm living for the Miami fantasy. Give it to me. But lovely T, that's been my homegirl since like sixth grade. Uh, I've been watching her since it was like whenever she was posting videos like like in her news channel, like those type of days. Um, but I I go heavy, heavy, heavy for lovely T, and I'm trying to get into the Discord if you know what I mean. So I love love lovely T. Um, is it safe if my cousin purchased a purse from there and send it via carrier like FedEx? Yes, but I would insurance 100%. And if they ask you what's in there, just put, just say an accessory. Don't say a handbag. Don't say jewelry. Say an accessory. Because uh, I have shipped out designer handbags. And whenever I get asked what's in it, I just say an accessory. And I get insurance on any and everything over, over a certain dollar out. So, yes. And I would, if you can or if you can bring a friend, make sure they record it too. Um, Thoughts on Cartier's price decrease. They decrease their price in the UK by 10%. I did not know about that. Let's see if they do it in the US, because if they do it on the US, maybe I'll buy the Cartier Tank watch. Um, but I did not know about that. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Giselle says, do you recommend Bottega Bonetta loafers? What is a reasonable price for them? Uh, I love Bottega. I have a pair of Bottega loafers. Love them so much. I wore them today. Um, I think, I mean, they're classic looking. They're kind of like Todd's and Ferragamo. I feel like you can never go wrong with them. Uh, but I think a reasonable price, if you can get, I know that Bottega's hot right now. So if you can get like 20 or 30 or 40, but at the outlet, they have like a lot of classic loafers. I would contact an essay there. You can get a really good deal on loafers and they have them in all different colors and sizes. Uh, hello, daily reviews. Um, I noticed that you are a coach fan. Have you looked into the made to order coach robots? They are beautiful. I have thought about it, um, but I haven't pulled the trigger, but I have played around on the website thinking about, should I make a custom bag? Who knows? But, um, but I, I have not, um, I have not thought about it. Sorry. I just had uh, one of my friends text me. Um, do you still love your St. Laurent toe? Yes. I love my St. Laurent toe and I cannot wait for it to get more, uh, hot so i can wear it it's a perfect uh summer bag i i have it i have my that 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 and my little little baby basket bag so i'm really good on big bags but i still love it do you find the gucci gucci loafers quite masculine what are your thoughts on it that's why i find that they're not flattering um i can see why you say that i think that the jordans are masculines i think that the mules are not i think the mules are a little bit more on the feminine side so if you feel like the gucci loafers are masculine i would go for the mule version I feel like that adds more kind of like a, a feminine vibe to it. Uh, is it true we can't travel with Gucci uh, Python bags? Customs will stop you. I mean, it just depends if you get stopped. I mean, when I was shopping in the UK, they asked me, they asked me certain questions and uh, they were trying to stop me, but I was like, I didn't, I was just like, I kind of went around the questions, but I mean, it just depends if you get stopped and they ask you that question. I mean, if you have it, I mean, it, it all is always gonna depend on the person that you get that asks you those questions. Uh, Joel says, hi, Sergio. Hi, how are you? Um, hi from San Francisco, Hero L. Hi, how are you? Um, what are your thoughts, Robinson says, what are your thoughts on the relaunch of the uh, Gucci Jackie bags? Uh, I really, really like them. I really appreciate them, but honestly, I would go for the pre-loved uh, versions of the Jackie bags. I do like them, but I would personally buy a pre-loved version. Uh, if we can give this video a thumbs up, guys, we have 54. Let's see if we can get it up to 60. I would appreciate it. Uh, Ruby Wears Pearl Diamond says, can you do an updated review on your Romova? Yes, I can. I have three of them. I still have not used the large one. I have something very big, big happening in June. So it definitely, that Romova look is going to get beat around. So um, I will do about it, but... I think they're worth the money. I used to buy so many different luggages and those are the best ones that I've had, especially the small one. I have let so many friends, so many people have, and it's been through the gigs. Uh, so I, it's worth it. I just got a uh, coach pillow, pillow on sale from Neiman's. Oh, they're on sale at Neiman's. I think somebody told me that they're 20% off. I could be wrong, but I mean, that's good. You got 20% off, you got $100 off. I'm here for you. You came out winning. Um, Elaine 92 says, I bought the Coach Cassie and Coach 19 because of your videos and I ain't mad at it. I mean, I think they're both, both very classic and core handbags and you can never ever go wrong with them. So I think you did a good choice. Um, Sergio, that necklace is very nice. Oh, thank you so much. I'm wearing a little three set. I kind of button it, maybe like a little, maybe I should have just not button it, but it's a live stream, so it's fine. Uh, I'm feeling the Friday fantasy, um, but thank you so much, Elaine. What do you think of people buying hyped items and then sell them for a huge uh, upsell afterwards? 
Um, I know that designer brands are cracking down on that. So I know like a lot of the designer brands aren't putting up with that and they're keeping uh, people more accountable, even if you're a high, uh, like if you buy a lot from that brand. Um, but I mean, it's just part of the game. Um, I wish it wasn't like that, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, I mean, if people do it, I mean, I guess that's that's on them, but I don't think it's fair. But at the end of the day, it's the brands and the essays that uh, have control of it. And if they really wanted to take control of their inventory, they could and they will. But I know a lot of brands are cracking down on that. Um, JD says, those necklaces are so nice. Serving looks as per usual. Thank you so much, JD. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, that actually only decreased the price of full pop pave love in america but in the uk it's on everything that's crazy that decrease on 10 percent. that means that they they need coin cardi says i need to get paid i need to get paid i need the coin um judy says i'm late to the party lol i mean you're not late to the party you came at a good time we still have a little bit of time left here um when you buy secondhand pre-love items, how much of the retail prices are you willing to pay? Like over retail? Never. I would never buy anything over retail. Absolutely not. Now, if it's like like a Chanel bag and it's they had it for 10 years and obviously inflation and maybe I get it $1,000 off retail, but they paid a lot less for it. I can see that, but I would never pay something over retail. I have never done that and I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. I don't think paying over retail for anything. I mean, all these designer brands are already expensive how it is. I would never pay uh, nowhere near over retail for any of these items. In my humble opinion, I like to get a good one fashion file. Um, let's see. Raya and the Last Dragon is a good Disney movie. Everyone show Sergio some love. Uh, let's give them all a thumbs up. Thank you, iHeartLux07. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, how do you keep, how do you, let's see. How do you help stay on track when saving for a bag? I keep on going destructive for cheaper ones. I'm saving for Chanel Trinity CC, but I keep wanting many uh, cheaper to or lower price point. Normally I don't use the word cheaper. I usually say lower price point because I still feel like, like when people say, oh, like coach and stuff, I still think it's a, uh, I still think it's, I think it's so expensive. So usually I like to say lower price point, in my opinion. Um, I say you have to say dedicated. Don't go and try to buy a card case or a makeup bag or like a necklace or a, a costume jewelry. Uh, just really stay disciplined. That's the word that I've been using 2021 is discipline, and it's really helped me out. Stay disciplined, amiga, and you will get whatever you want. And that means you have to save. It's going to feel really great when you walk out that store with your trendy CC versus just having to walk out with a card case, a jewelry item, and it pushes you less. And what happens if there's a price increase? So for me, just try to stick on track and be disciplined. Um, that's what it is. When you see, just say, I'm disciplined. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to focus on it, even if it does take a little bit of a while. Um, the Dior price increase hurts my heart is in the saddle. Uh, worth the RIP now. Uh, retail, I don't think the saddle for me right now is worth retail. I would go in the pre love market. I know they're kind of like around the same prices, but um, I don't know. I mean, I like the Dior price increase definitely put me off from the brand. And, and it's so funny because I have Dior essays text me all the time about showing me new things. I'm just like, I'm not interested, but thank you so much. Uh, Lynn B says, may I have your opinion on the uh, medium rocks and Maltese quilted leather shoulder bag? Um, I, I love it. Anything with the Rockstar for Valentino, I think it's beautiful. Like I said, I like the Rockstar because it doesn't see, it's like, it, it, it tell me it's Valentino without telling me it's Valentino. That's what I like. It's very, you know what it is, you know what it is. It's very sleek. It's very kind of edgy depending which one you get, but um, I do really like that bag. Um, but anything rock stud, I'm a big fan of now. Um, I think rock studs uh, collection for Valentino is iconic. And I don't care what anybody says and says that it's not. I think it is. Um, Becky says, thank you for your life, Sergio. So nice of you to respond to everyone. Love from Montreal, Canada. Oh, we have Canada. We have a lot of Canada up in this house. Um, I mean, I know maybe I'm not the best with answering or replying on comments on YouTube and that's something I'm trying to work on. Um, I reply a little bit more on Instagram, um, but I love to do these live streams because I feel like I get to talk to you more and I get to have an interaction. And if you do have a question, I could ever, um, I can answer them here. You know what I mean? 
Um, Sergio, do you plan, uh, but thank you so much for asking that question, Becky. Margaret says, Sergio, do you plan on getting a Kurt Geiger bag? I have a Canadian tweet and I love it. Yes, I will add a Kurt Geiger bag. I haven't seen the one that spoke to me like the one. I know they do a lot of fun colors and accessories. So I'm waiting for the one that I seen that I will buy. I know in the Kurt Geiger video that I posted a year ago, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I would buy a fun one versus buying a core one. So I, I'm still sticking on that. Um, but I will um, I will add one, but I'm just not sure. I think when I see it, if I walk into Dillard's or Nordstrom, because those two places carry it here in uh, Texas, if I see it and I like it, I will buy it. But I, I haven't saw one that I genuinely like. Um, we have, are you willing to play the Herm game at Hermes? I'm currently trying to build my purchase history so it can be offered at Brooklyn Kelly. Would you or buy pre-love? Uh, I would never buy, buy it in Hermes, Brooklyn or Kelly over retail. Maybe one. 1k over retail but anything else i would not um i am i would love to have an hermes Birkin and kelly i don't think financially i'm there where i would feel comfortable spending that much money on a handbag and that's just me keeping all the way 100. i mean if i wanted to if i really really wanted to girl here's my car let me buy one like from a from a fashion file or something but i don't want to put myself in that financial situation because that's a whole lot of money and i'd much rather uh, do a lot more other things with that um so i have not played the game at hermes yet i told myself i was going to do it this year but honestly i'm going to hold on on playing the hermes game probably maybe till the end of this year or maybe next year and so by the time i am offered one i will be in a financial place where you know i can't buy that handbag but right now i'm really focusing on a lot of other things financially um like a lot of investments a lot of other internal things and so for me um, to spend over 10 racks on a bag, uh, not something, and I'm being honest, not something that I want to do right now, but I will probably, I mean, I would much rather play the game and get it directly from the boutique than to pay five to 10 K to get the exact same one from a reseller. If I'm being really honest, because at the end of the day, it's going to even out. I'd rather have the extra Hermes items and um, build an actual um, relationship with Hermes than to just straight off buy it, if I'm being honest. Uh, Karina Garcia says, how much did you pay for your Chanel flat bag? I bought it um, a couple years back. I bought it $4,000, single flap. It's from 2005 or 2006, fashion fell, and came with the box, uh, the cleaning cloth, absolutely everything. But I paid $4,000. This was before they were doing uh, taxes. Um, let's see. I like the Gucci platform, but this is worth spending close to $900 plus tax. I, I do like the platforms, especially the new monograms with like kind of like that darker blue denim. I like it. I can see it being a nice vintage piece. If you like it, I would go for it. I do really like it. I think it's a really cute one. Um, Joelle says, what is your opinion on jewelry accessories, plated, silver, gold? Any suggestions of where to find originally priced items? I'm looking for necklaces and bracelets. I have this uh, friend that I have, and she actually goes to pawn shops, and she gets really great prices. She bought, like, a Michelle watch for, like, $300. She has bought a Yerman, uh, all these, uh, what's that one brand called? It's, like, a very expensive, uh, the one that has, like, the moving diamonds, um, Van Cleef, and she finds, like, a lot of good deals. So if you live near kind of more bougie or pawn shops or it's kind of next to a bougie area go to the pawn shops you can find some really great deals she showed me all her steals she got like a beautiful band cleat bracelet got it authenticated and everything and she got a phenomenal deal cardi a watches like she, that's her hobby is to buy um like jewelry from the pawn shops because a lot of the time they some of them do and some of them don't know really what it is depending on the brand obviously like they'll know what cardi a more is than Meseca. So, I mean, I would really check your local pawn shops. I think you can really luck out with that. Um, Hero says, would you ever do a video on classic pieces and accessories that will never go out of style? Yes, I will. I'm planning to do more core content. Um, I will separate them from designer and contemporary, um, but I'm working on a classic, I'm not video on classic designer items that I personally don't see the value in uh, because I do get asked on it. But yes, that, that is in the works, but I think I'll do um, like handbags that I think are worth the money, full price. I'm doing it as a full price basis, not an off price basis, but I will be doing it on, um, I will be doing that. And it's, my goal is to focus a little bit more on core content on the month of um, April. Thoughts on Amina Muadi shoes. Uh, I hear the quality is bad. Um, I went to last corner, I saw Amina Muadi shoe that was, that looked like it was bad quality and that's why it was refurbished. I think that they're, since they're so popular, I think they're made very fast. And I have seen like stock pictures where they're literally missing crystals. So 
Um, I think that they're really mass produced right now because it is a hot shoe. So it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of them are kind of like faulty looking. Um, but um, I, I've heard that too. And that wouldn't, and when I saw that in the last call, that certified my question because I've never seen another designer shoe look like that. Uh, thank you so much, Sergio. You've been really helping me through lockdown. How have you been? Uh, I've been really, really good. I've been chilling. I've been living the fantasy and I've been opening up a lot more, um, but I've been good. But thank you so much for um, asking. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see where I'm at. Um, for fine jewelry, I would recommend your local jewelry. Many local jewels make pieces themselves and are more reasonably priced. I, I recommend, yeah, that's true. Uh, you can get it more and it's something different than the, what's out in the market. So I agree with what you said. Would you say your bags are mostly bought brand new in store or pre-owned? Um, they're mostly, I mean, um, I mean, just your definition of pre-owned. Like that one I got from my friend, so I consider it pre-owned. My Chanel's pre-owned. Um, but I think, I'm trying to think. Those are the only pre-owned handbags that I have is that, that, and a, a way made bag that I have in, in my closet. But most of my bags are um, brand new uh, for the most part. Let's see, hey Sergio, do you have any recommendations on high quality and cute socks? Um, like like uh, fun and trendy. I think Sandy Langs does some cute socks and I think Ganny does cute socks and they're not super, super expensive. But I think they're so cute. If you want the best socks money can buy you, Bombas, they were on Shark Tank and I have a few pairs and I highly, highly recommend them. Um, they feel like elevated and they feel like I'm walking on clouds. Um, just want to know what is your opinion on the LB Kusin bag? Bottega Veneta vibes and I kind of side eye people that have that bag um, that got it gifted uh, depending how they style it. Um, I not my, I think it's just, I think it's so expensive too for what it is, but um not a big fan of it. Very Bottega Veneta vibes. And um, I I don't, I kind of cited, I, I side-eyed it with a lot of people that got it. Um, we have 91 people in here. Can we get this to 80 likes? I know I'm a little annoying about that, but I'd appreciate it. Um, would you buy a pre-owned pre -love, pre -owned watch? The Cardi Tink watch is a watch that I'm looking to buy. And I did see it on Fashion File. So um, I am willing to buy it pre-loved. Um, the Cardi Tink watch has been a watch that I've been wanting for such a long time. So I can definitely see myself buying the only other watch that I really want in my collection. Um, I have my Michelle watch. I want a classic Cartier and I'm fine. I told you this. I don't care about Patek. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't care about Rolexes. If someone gives me a $12,000 Rolex, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, you can have it. Or I would give it to somebody else. Like Rolex does absolutely nothing for me. You can say the history and everything. I don't care about a Rolex. I don't care about all these other, like the only really watch that I want is square watches and particularly a Cartier a tank watch. I could change my mind tomorrow or five years from now, but right now a Rolex watch does not do anything for me, but the Cartier tank watch is on my wish list. And I think Cartier watches in general, I really, really love. Um, I got the one I got fun to, fun to pink and orange tweed, $100 from Nortrum Rack. Yeah, Nortrum Rack comes through, honey. I bought some other jeans and I finally got them. Um, and I'm probably gonna be wearing them tonight. Um, Joshua Games says, uh, Hola Sergio, dame recommendations para conseguir buenos descuentos. I would, I would say que vas a last call in Dallas, if you live in Dallas, y a llamar las tiendas de outlets on a busy weekday. I mean, on a day that's not busy. Um, we have uh, I think Louis Vuitton has gone two three and the new designs that have come out are too trendy and not iconic. What do you think? I think they're just mass produced. I think Louis Vuitton is the fast fashion of the luxury community. Uh, like Saint Laurent has an aesthetic, Tory Burch has an aesthetic, Chanel has an aesthetic, Hermes has an aesthetic, Lavon has an aesthetic, Dior has an aesthetic, and Louis Vuitton has all these different aesthetics that don't make sense. And honestly, I feel like it's more of a cash grab and I'm just not here for Louis Vuitton at all. So, I mean, I, I agree with what you said. Can you please explain what you mean by models having a crazy life? I'm curious. I mean, they just, I mean, I've known models that, I mean, when you're in that industry with people, with money, with fame, with power, a lot of things happen in those industries and a lot of things you sign non-disclosures and your voice will never get heard or people won't believe you or things that could ruin your career or embarrassing. 
I mean, or you're uh, around all these different types of people, uh, all these types of substances. So um, it, it's a it's a crazy life, and I, it's not something that I personally want to. I don't think that's something that I would ever want to put like my child or even myself through. Um, I just love the way I am with my little platform and I keep it moving, but models do live a very crazy life depending on what tier you are. But I mean, they live the life, but it comes with a lot of negative things attached to it. Um, Sergio, I got my logos bracelet from TJ Maxx and, I, and I've seen yours and fell in love. Uh, I think Lagos is beautiful. I had another friend, uh, her name's Ronina, and she bought a Lagos bracelet from there and she loves it. I love, love, love Lagos. I think they make uh, beautiful items and I, I love it. Um, I've been obsessing over designer prescription eyewear and designer eyewear chains. I would I would love to be able to afford a Chanel one if I stopped buying glasses and, and as accessories, but I like to change it up. I think the Chanel, uh, chains are so so beautiful i know they've been out for like the last two years but i think they're absolutely stunning i really really enjoy them uh lynn b says thank you sergio oh anytime does valentino rock stud come in silver hardware rock studs i believe so i think certain ones not a lot are in silver i know they've done like ruthenium hardware they have done pink one and obviously the champagne gold but i have seen um them do um them in different variations but their main one is going to be in the champagne gold um, and P says, do you own any vintage bags? Right now in my collection, I don't. I have that vintage Fendi bag yet. I sold it to one of my bestest, the bestest friends. If I wanted it back, I could ask her. Um, but right now I currently don't have any vintage um, handbags. I do have vintage clothes. Like I have a vintage Versace jean, vintage Versace sweater, and a lot of like vintage like t-shirts from like the early 2000s from like the actual concerts, like Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake and stuff like that. But I don't have any actual vintage handbags as of right now. Um, for pre-love, what's more important, dust bag or authentication card? For me, I, I'm at the point in my collection where I don't care if I don't get the box or the authenticity card or anything. As long as the item's authentic, that's what I personally care about. Obviously, it plays a factor. I appreciate it if it came with it. But for me, that's not the that's not the killer. If, if I like the bag, it's a reasonable price, pre-loved, and it's authentic. I think that's what I care about. Uh, a little bit more, but I mean, to each its own. Some people, when they buy pre-love, they want the receipt, they want the box, they want absolutely even the shopping bag. And I don't blame them. I mean, I think if, if that's what you want, that's what you like, good for you. But for me, um, I really don't care. As long as it's authentic and it's a good deal, if I am buying pre-love, I think that's what is important to me. Uh, Stephanie says, hi, Sergio. Hi, how are you? Uh, we have true, the LV consent is expensive, almost stand uh one purchase one uh, i don't know i think the croissant they try to make it kind of hard to get now too um i i don't know it's just not a bag that i've just been kind of into i mean i think i don't like it the only louis vuitton bag that i said that i, that I like is mark jacob era handbags from louis vuitton and current louis vuitton handbags the one that i can see myself uh really liking is the cappuccines but that's so overpriced but the cappuccines, I think, is a very elegant handbag if you are wanting a leather handbag from Louis Vuitton. Uh, Stephanie says, X, uh, Stephanie XO says, Sergio, your videos in fashion sense feeds my soul. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Joshua Gaines says, uh, Gracias, Sergio. Yeah, anytime. Um, Burberry says, uh, Should I go with the denim instead of silver platform Gucci or the brown um, version, except I don't like brown, then I would go for the silver one if you don't like the brown one. I like both of them, but I would go whatever you're going to wear uh, more. Um, Joshua says, love you, Sergio. We love the live streams. Hope you plan to do some more. Yes, every Friday at 7 it is our thing between all of us that are watching. Um, it is going to be a live stream that we're going to be doing every single Friday at 7. If I'm traveling or if I'm doing something else, I will change the date and I'll let you guys know on Instagram. But uh, for the most part, Fridays at 7 is our time where we get to talk and we get the kiki with the girls. Um, definitely here for it. Um, let's see. Um I'm Jelly, your North Term Rack, TJ Maxx, and Dealers have some good stuff. My local one sucks. I can never find anything good. I think I put the good energy out there too, but I also live in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, and so there's so many places. Like, I'm very, very blessed to live in Dallas Fort Worth. So I can go to the TJ Maxx in Fort Worth. I can go to the one in uh, the two in Dallas. I can go to the one in Frisco. I can go to so many and so many. There's six North Term Racks. There's one in Arlington, two in Dallas, Plano, Frisco, South Lake. So for me, I think I'm just in an area where 
there's so many people at so so many places um but i think that's what it has to do is because here there's a there's a like a lot of stores and a lot of locations so even if like let's say if i go to the one in dallas for north Mac and it's not popping i'll drive to plano not popping i'll drive to south lake whatever i feel like it but i think that's what it is um but thank you but i, I think it has to do with where i live uh fire Spence says yes i've heard models talk about suffering about issues like racism abuse uh depression but i've also seen top models who seem to have a happy life when you i've seen a lot of things internally and i mean a lot of them do but a lot of them do go through a lot and they be going through the gigs um but all that stuff um is very sad like i think there should be more protection for that but unfortunately um it, i hate to say it, but something grab something has to happen for them that people take it more seriously. I feel like the modeling industry has become a lot better. I think with the last 10 years, it's definitely improved. I find that you find more people of color, you find different people of ages, ethnicities, you see more people like me uh, and ads and, and out in the modeling. So I will say it's definitely has changed within the last 10 years and it's been more inclusive, which I can appreciate that. But I think the modeling industry still has so much work to do, but I definitely do appreciate that they're being more inclusive. And that goes for like walking into Target and seeing the people that are on the ads to Kohl's to uh, any place. I definitely appreciate there's more inclusivity going around. And that's something that I really appreciate, especially like men in makeup and stuff like that. I definitely have been seeing that. I would love to see um, more, a ch more, people of that are transgender and stuff like that into kind of more mainstream. I think that's kind of the next steps that I would love to see out more, but um, I think there's still a lot of work to do in the um, modeling world. Um, Hero L Go says online for Notre Dame. Uh, yes, you put a, uh, you put the best value on all the brands. You can find some really, really great deals. Um, let's see. Um, JR says, favorite spots to go clubbing anywhere in Deep LM or Oakland, assuming you go there since it's clubby, LOL. Um, it depends. I think today I'm going to be going to Deep LM. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. I, me and my friends have a group chat. So wherever they go, I'm going. Um, but it just depends. Some nights uh, I'll, I'll just go out with one person. And then some nights I'll go out with the whole group. Um, but I like to go wherever the vibe hits. Um, but... Uh, I like it and I get to meet, I have actually met quite a bit of subscribers going out there. I just have to be kind of careful when I go out, uh, especially in Deep Ellum, because it's kind of dangerous out there. Uh, like the other day, I, I had parked my car on the side and I literally saw this truck literally um, trying to like reverse park. I think he was intoxicated and he hit both of those cars. So you have to be very careful. And if I can Uber, I would rather Uber, but it just honestly depends. But uh, I like both vibes. I think both are pretty great, but um, I love me a little deep element moment. <laughs> um, Natalie says, do you find it hard to date because you dress well? When they see me, they see me as high maintenance as I cannot afford my lifestyle, even though I pay for my own things. Um, I will answer this question. This is actually a really great question. So thank you so much for answering this. I will answer this. Um, for me, people my age, definitely feel some type of way when they see me uh and i'm keeping all the way 100 i'm not saying that i'm nobody like i work hard for everything that i have like everything behind me everything that i have i have paid for myself like i have nobody's help and so for me when people see it they get kind of intimidated i would say or they feel like it's very overwhelming and so whenever i meet guys my age i find that a i find that they feel like they can't be on my level even though I'm a sweet person, like nothing, regardless of whatever I've had materialistic, I'm still the same person on the inside. You know, if I didn't have anything, I will still be having a smile on my face. I'll still be kicking it with the girls. Like I would still be myself, but I will say people my age, I find it harder to date in my age bracket. And I find it more easier to date men that are 30 plus. Obviously I'm very, very picky and I'm very, very particular on who I associate myself with and who I go on a date with and where we're going and what we do. I'm very, 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 very picky on things like that. Like I have been on dates where people literally put their phone 
like this and they literally record a conversation and they act like i don't see anything so there's a lot of snaky people out there I, it's very hard for me to like that's why i'm saying like this is why i don't do like apartment tours or car tours or being more open with friends and family because i've had people record conversations i've had people um try to do things sneaky behind the scenes and it's very very hard for me to trust a lot of new people in my life and i know i may be nice i may be friendly with people that i go out and see but it's really hard for me to make friends my age or even like a little bit older because I always feel like people always feel like they want something from me. And so it's very hard to find that balance. But I mean, I have met really nice connections and I have met nice people. It's just a little bit more harder for me. Um, but also when I go out on dates, I mean, I know I keep talking about this a lot. I'll answer, the, I'm gonna talk for like two more minutes. When I go on dates and stuff, I'm not the type of person to be like, this is my name, this is what I do, blah, 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 and like overwhelm them. Usually when I go on a date or when I meet somebody, I'm very chill, I'm very relaxed. I kind of want to hear a little bit of everything. I don't sell any and everything, my business to everybody. I keep it very low key. When people ask me what I do, uh, I just say I'm an entrepreneur. I do 50 million things, um, but I just tell people I'm an entrepreneur, I do my own thing, and that's what it is, it is what it is because I don't want people to see things and to, because I I have told people what I do, regardless if it's YouTube or whatever the other things are, and I see them switch and they see it as an opportunity to take advantage. So I'm very, very selective, but I definitely do agree with you. And I definitely, definitely see where you're coming from. Um, but thank you for so much for asking that. But I definitely see, I, I it's very hard for my age bracket. And I find that people over 30, I kind of get along with a lot better. And I definitely do prefer um, people in their 30s or men in their 30s a little bit more than guys my age. I'm open to anything, but that's my experiences that I've had right now. Um, Margaret says, I want a Dior saddlebag or Fendi baguette. Do you think the price will go back down? If so, how much? To be honest, I don't think so. Well, retail, I don't think so. I think pre-love, I can see the saddlebag going for lower price points. Um, you can already see that right now through pre-love websites. Um, if any baggage, I think are still hot, especially vintage. Uh, if you want it for a really great price, I think I would hold out maybe like a couple years ago, a couple of months to maybe 24 months. If you do want to wait to get it for a really great price. Um, are you getting the coach mini pillow? Are you getting the coach pillow mini tabby mini? If it's in a beautiful lilac color and I really like it. And if it's love at first sight, when I first see it, absolutely. Yes. If I see it in the boutique and I'm just like, I will buy it. So yes, if I love it, I will buy it. Um, Kenya says Chanel keeps increasing prices. Do you believe that the price matched the quality? Thinking buying a Chanel 19, it would be my first Chanel item. Um, I think you are. I mean, I think that's with any brand. You're going to pay a markup regardless. I think with Chanel, I think I love Chanel's history. I love Chanel as a person. Like I, I love, I love Chanel's history. I love the story behind anything and everything Chanel. Um, I love Chanel as a person. That's why I relate to Chanel because I, I relate to Coco Chanel as a person um, because I've heard her story. I don't know who Louis Vuitton is. Like I know he made trunks, but that's not interesting to me. When I hear Coco Chanel's story, I love it so much. And that's why I, I love Chanel. So I would say if you do want a Chanel 19, uh, I would definitely, definitely go for it. Um, and they discontinued goat skin. So the new ones will be lamb skin, but I hear that lamb skin is pretty durable. But um, they will keep increasing the prices, and it's sooner rather than later to get a Chanel 19, especially if you're going to be getting a core one. Um, let's see. The pricing, they increase the price because people will pay. That's true. Um, they will, If people are willing to pay and they see the secondhand market, um, they, will, they will increase the price and they'll keep it moving. Um, what company do you sell your bags and compare to what you pay for? Are you willing to let it go? Uh, I sell my bags exclusively to Fashion File. I have sold things to, um, I have sold things to um, other websites or I have quoted things to other websites. I think me and Fashion File's relationship is phenomenally, really, really well internally. And so I'm really happy with all the quotes that they give me. And so if it's a designer bag, I feel 100% happy to um, sell it to Fashion File, but that's the only company that, if I don't sell it myself or to a friend, or to a subscriber, I will sell it only on Fashion File.
um, because that's how our relationship works. I really, really love Fashion File, but um, it just depends on when, on when I'm will, willing to let it go. It just really, really depends on the value of the thing. But um, if I do have to sell it through a website, I've always been happy with every single Fashion File quote. I have never had a quote that I never did not like, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, Yvette says, Louis is all right. The handles are a mess after so many runs. I appreciate Mulberry, St. Laurent, and Dior. Um, I really like Mulberry. Mulberry is so underrated. And I think St. Laurent is my favorite designer brand for handbags as of right now. I think that's the core and the timeless one that I love the most. Uh, Burberry, Clara said, what qualifies as a vintage or pre-love are good prices reflected in the pre-mix? I think it depends the brand and the style. So for example, uh, I think vintage is over 20 years old. And I think pre-loved is anything before that. Um, it, it depends on the market. Like I would compare different websites, but anything over 50% off, I think is a good deal. Like you can get classic Chloe Mercy's for like 50% off. You can get Antigonus for 50% off. You can get really great deals for 50% off. So um, it just depends the brand. Uh, Cause some people like Chanel could be 30% uh, off the retail and that could be a good deal, but maybe Chloe 50% off. So it depends the brand and the style. But for me, uh, it just really depends. Um, D3N says, I know he probably isn't into messenger bags, but you can make a video with the best me messenger bags. Um, yes, I'll be, I, I think I'm going to mix it in with like men's bags because I know a lot of men's bags are more messenger styles. I will probably be doing it. I used to really like messenger bags, but I find that um, I prefer totes a little bit more. But yes, I do see myself doing that. Um, so funny, I just bought this swimsuit, bucket hat, slides, and umbrella. Uh, I mean, we love a whole set. I mean, I'm not hating. I, I love a good set. Um, but I mean, I think I think for always it's to each its own. If you like it, I love it. That's how I see it. If I see a Louis Vuitton bag and it's styled nicely or Dior, even though I don't buy from those brands, or pretty Louis Vuitton shoe, even though that's I, that's not a brand that I don't buy from, I'm not going to hate on it. If anything, I'm like, yes, girl, you look good. And it's genuine and I keep it real. Just because it's not for me doesn't mean I don't love to see it on other people. That's just the way I see it. Uh, are dark, high-waisted um, jeans in style? And so should I go with dark uh, jeans and his mother better than Paige? Paige has like a lot of stretch to them. I find that they stretch out a little bit too much for my tasting. Same for AG. AG has like a lot of stretch. I prefer mother. I'm wearing mother jeans tonight. Um, I'm actually going to show them to you. Give me one second. I'm going to show them to you. I love mother jeans. I got them today. I'm going to wear them. I love them. Like they cut me from the behind really well. They're superior. So they don't have a stretch to them, but aren't they so cute? I think I'm going to wear a white bodysuit with it and I, I love them, but I do really like it. And I think you should go for mother over page right now. Cause I definitely do prefer um, mother, especially if you don't want a stretch, go for superior. If you do want a good stretch, but the thing is they stay in place and they don't overstretch over time. So I would go for mother over page. Um, we have 93 likes. If we can get it to 100 likes, I would appreciate it. Um, well, mascara is the best. Um, my mom has extensions on her lashes, but before that, um, and I know other friends, Chanel Lee Volume is probably the best mascara that's out there for designer or like high end makeup. And for drugstore, a L'Oreal Luminous. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like the classic Luminum, like carbon black. I think those two are the best mascaras that I've heard. And I think uh, Lancome like the definition mascara, um, when I was into makeup a lot, I would wear that one. That one, that one, that one was personally my favorite mascara was the Lancome definition one. Um, any purchases from eBay, only clothing I purchased from eBay, um, not anything, um, not like bags or anything. Everything's been through Fashion File. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Kristen says, hello everyone, hello, how are you? We got it to 100 likes. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, I should be leaving here in the next 20 minutes. So if you guys have any questions or anything before we head out, I think by the two hour mark, I think I will end it, but feel free to ask anything. I will answer it. If as long as it's still answered here, I will answer it. Alicia S says, love your videos. I'm a new subscriber. Thank you for being so much. Thank you for being a new subscriber, Alicia. Appreciate it. Thomas says, are you going to get the mini pillow tabby? I'm planning on buying it. If the lilac color is pretty and I like it, yes, I will be purchasing it. Uh, Pimmel says, hi, hi, how are you? Uh, JR says, would you consider a coach designer or contemporary 
or even bridge. I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, I would consider uh, bridge, I would consider contemporary, but I mean, everybody's definition of designer is, um, I mean, I consider all these bags behind me designer because not everybody can go out and buy a coach bag. Not everybody can go out and buy a Michael Kors bag, a Givenchy bag. So for me, I find having even a contemporary handbag a privilege to have. And so for me, even though I do separate my content as contemporary and designer, at the end of the day, I think they're all special and I do consider everything designer because having bags, especially contemporary or designer is a luxury. So, I mean, I think it's whatever your definition, but if you're going through what stores and what people consider it, Coach is technically considered a contemporary handbag brand. Um, but for me, I mean, I think it's a luxury just to even have one designer handbag. And that includes like a Michael Kors or uh, a Chanel handbag in my peer, in my opinion. Um, so I'm very, very grateful uh, just to even have these bags behind me. I'm super blessed. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Fire Spawn said, you said you never have your children be a model, but there's Gigi, Bella, Kendall. What do you think of sellers who have children in the modeling industry? Do you think it's safe? I think they have it good because they are very powerful families. And so nothing would ever really happen to them because they're back. But I'm talking about the people that are coming from, from nowhere. I mean, you, you hear a lot of stories, but... Um, I think um, the ones that are top are the ones that have more uh, leeway, especially because they have very powerful families. Then you have like uh, Adriana Lima, uh, Alessandria Ambrosio, or um, a Carly Kloss who weren't really like super, super out there, like discovered in Brazil. I mean, I know Carly Kloss wasn't discovered, but like Adriana Lima. And so, I mean, maybe she has a story because right now she's not really like into the whole modeling scene. And I know when she left Victoria's Secret, she kind of left it like a little kind of a gray area. And I know she's a very religious person. So, I mean, I don't know. I think it, I think any industry has its ups and downs, but the top ones, like what you said, uh, they have nothing will ever happen to them, or it's uh, more unlikely than other models because they come from powerful families and they hold a lot, a lot of weight. Um, Yvette says, "Do you have sisters and brothers, older or younger?" I have a younger brother that is um, eighteen, no, nineteen. He's nineteen, and yeah, I just have a younger brother that's nineteen, and that is it. Miss P. K says, hey, hey, how are you? Ashley the B says, hey, surgeon, everyone. Uh, hey, 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 how are you? Um, Hindi Lara says, yes, amen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I spoke the truth about uh, handbags. Um, hey, the real Celia, not sure if you answered. What is your full-time job? I think everything that I do is full-time job. Posting five YouTube videos in a live stream a week is a full-time job. Working all these different things that I do are different jobs. I, I really, really grind for everything that I have. And so um, I have a lot of full-time jobs, but um, but everything will be revealed in time. I know I, that's the main question, but um, I think I think if I don't have to put my business out there, I'd rather not. But as this channel grows, I'll share more with you guys. Like I said, I've been showing more. Like I've never used to do live streams and now I love it. Um, what is the best times throughout the years to shop TJ Maxx or Wayne or Mac and the best high end for the lowest price points? TJ Maxx, when they start doing red tags and when they're transitioning into yellow tags, so that's like, I want to say it's like June-ish and I think right after Christmas. I think right after Christmas anywhere is really great or in January too, because January, like a lot of the designer sales ended like at Nordstrom and so they'll transfer all those items to the racks or same for Neiman Market or same for Last Call. I think after the, the designer sales have stopped, give it two weeks and then that's the best time. So keep in track when the next designer sales happen in the department stores. And once it officially ends, once like that website doesn't say clearance or so anymore, check two weeks later on the actual stores and that's when it will happen. Um, does your le does your leather on the pillow hold up? Is it durable or do you have to baby it? I, I baby it a little bit, but not whole, whole much, Thomas. Uh, I'm definitely cautious because it is white. Uh, I wore it out for dinner and it was fine, but if I go out tonight and have a good time, definitely not gonna take it with me because it will get trashed. Um, but it's it's holding up really well. It is soft leather, but I think the mini one is a lot more better to control. So we have more of a say with it versus that one's like a little bit larger. So um, I think the baby one probably will hold up a little bit better than um, the larger one. Um, 
Let's see, let's see. Chris, Christine Lee says, I loved your Burberry video from yesterday. I'm obsessed with the check no crossbody, but after the base shop with the Burberry is kind of loud and tacky, what do you think about the black? The logo is invisible. I prefer the black a lot better because it does have it, but it's a lot more seamless. I think on the other color, I think that Burberry like really killed it. But if you still love that bag, I would just go for the one uh, for the black one more. But I do like if it didn't have the strap, like for me, if I would buy it or be interested in the bag if it didn't have the Burberry on it. But since it is black on black, it, it won't bother me as much like if it was in another color. But I think it is a really beautiful um, handbag. But for me, it's just a strap. But if you do like it, I would go for the black on black one. Are you gay? Yes, I am. Um, do you buy male or female jeans? Because I'm a woman, so mother jeans will be okay for women. I wear mostly women's jeans. Uh, right now, I'm wearing, I think these are men's vintage Levi's, but I think 90% of my pant collection is going to be women's pants. Uh, like this is a men's shirt, but I kind of go back and forth of clothing. Um, but I will say like 88, no, I think 90% of all my clothing is more women's clothing or more unisex based. And I really like that, but I think my style is very androgynous. Sometimes it's very masculine, sometimes it's very feminine. Sometimes it's right in the middle. So I love to give, I like to wake up in my closet and I like to give whatever fantasy I want to give. Um, Fire Spawn says, I don't know if you follow him, but have you, do you have an opinion on the James Charles situation that's been trending? Uh, for me, I, I think um, he's been given many chances and I feel like people don't really hold him accountable as far as his sponsors and even like the platform. So I think he needs to be held accountable for his actions coming into video and just saying a bunch of BS, in my opinion, is not good enough. I think um, he needs to be held more, um, more, I don't know, he needs to be held to what he's, what he's done. And I, I don't really watch James Charles. I'm glad to say that I never purchased anything from um, James Charles. I never purchased Morphe Palette. I will never, I never really watched James Charles even when he was being, he was just not somebody that uh, I didn't care for. I think he's always built, um, I think he's always been shady from the beginning. I don't really care for him and I don't check for James Charles like that. But I only heard about the situation because I watched Lovely Team. Um, before you go, your book tote, if you can buy it again, what canvas would you get? I would get the blue one again, or I would get kind of like a like a fun seasonal one, but I would still go for the blue one. I would not get, and I would go for the same size. I wouldn't go for the smaller one. I wouldn't go for the bigger one. Um, I would go for the exact same one that I have. I, I think the book tote that I bought, I was really happy with it. Thomas says, do I have any pets? Um, in my apartment, no, at my parents, I have a 15 year old dog. I bought him many, many years ago. I was the one that picked him out. I remember my parents were like, do you want to go to Disneyland or do you want a dog? I said, I want the dog, best decision ever. And he's so happy to see me. Um, obviously he's in his older stages of his life, but he is my ride or die. He's the only person in life that I love so much. Well, I love a lot of people, but he's my real one. And so he's my, he's my only pet. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Shai Shai says, yes. Um, Judy B. Jones says, uh, hey, Sergio, have you been to North Mac in Frisco across from the mall? It's going to be my first time going to shopping in six months, and I hope to find some good stuff tomorrow. Yes, I was there. I bought some frame shorts for, 50, for I think, $18.99, and they were usually $180. I got them for 90% off. I love the Frisco rack. I think for me, my favorite racks, I'm going to tell you guys, my favorite racks that I love, I'm going to name them, uh, Park Lane. The one in Frisco, no, Park Lane, the one in South Lake, the one in Frisco, um, the one in Plano, the one in Arlington, and the one in the Galleria. The one by the Galleria, I don't really find a lot of stuff, but those are my favorite ones, Countdown. Uh, but I, I think that the Frisco is very comparable to the South Lake one. I don't know, the South Lake one, um, what I like is that they have a section where they put the refurbished shoes versus at the Frisco one, you kind of have to look for them. So I find that, and they also have a bigger shoe selection at the Frisco one, I mean, I mean at the South Lake one. Um, Ivani says, have you met another male YouTuber who wasn't the person you thought he was? I met a lot of shady people. Like I said, I'm very, very selective on who I give my energy to. And that's why I'm very easy to cut people that I know my personal life very easily. I'm friendly. I'm nice. Like, like I have a dinner that I have to go like in two weeks from now. And there's two people that I, that I don't care for. But since it's something that is my friend's thing, I will respect, I'll be nice, I'll be courteous, I'll have manners and I'll keep it moving. But um, I know I got off topic, but yes, I, Ibedi, yeah. Anthony Salazar says, 
are you going out tonight, sis? Maybe I am. Are you going to go out tonight? Are you in Dallas? Uh, but yeah, I think I will. I Yeah, I'm going to kick you with the girls today. I believe so, yes. Um, Stephanie says, what keeps you inspired and would you describe your style and fashion? What keeps me inspired is you guys. I love to get inspired by you guys. I love it. I love all my subscribers. Um, I think what keeps me inspired is just life. I think life continues your changes and everything changes over time. And so I love that, you know, maybe one day I'll wake up and something changes. And I just love that fashion is always continuing. There's always new things, new designers, old things, new things, vintage. I just love, there's so many brands that I don't even know about. And I like to consider myself a well-known person, a lot of things about fashion, but there's so many things that I don't know. So I think that there's so much fashion history there's so many fashion things going around and i think i love to see that because there's always something new to explore something new to do and i would describe my a style um during the day a uh, very clean cut classic edited maybe a wow piece here and there at night definitely something like a little bit more on the loud side or even clean cut classic but at the end of the day clean cut classic like right now i have this burberry shirt if i button it up i mean it's a classic burberry shirt you cannot go wrong with it a replenishment style michelle watch um, a lot of the backdrop behind me are replenishment style. These are replenishment style Lana. So there are things that are very kind of core and classic. So for me, I think I'm a very clean cut classic type of person. Um, so far, my coach pillow is wearing well, no issues, wear every day. Thank you so much for sharing that, Lisa. Thank you for asking that, Stephanie. But thank you for sharing that, Lisa. That's good to hear. So if you have a coach pillow um, and you it's been wearing well, and if you're planning up one, uh, Lisa says that it's been wearing well. Um, which one do you prefer, um, Chanel or Dior? Chanel, 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 all, all the way. I'm jealous. Best of two worlds clothing. Uh, what do you mean, best of two worlds clothing? N not sure what, like, what you mean, D. Um, but thank you for that. Um, she has a story in Japan. In the consignment market is huge. That's insane. Seeing stacks and stacks of LV mark. LV canvases are an excellent intelligent on the floor. LV canvas bags are like fast fashion so crazy i have seen youtube videos where like or even like uh shopping box where they have like all these chanel items like just like nothing like they're just like 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 you see sasa la pulga if you're like at the flea market just like that um it's crazy i have seen those videos and I, every time i see it i'm shocked and it's all those items are authentic too and that's the crazy part so um yeah i have seen those videos and it's crazy and i would love to go to japan i would love to go to tokyo one day um I had a I had a Zoom meeting the other day, and one of the icebreakers was, uh, "What's one of the cities you would love to go?" And I said Tokyo. So uh, Tokyo it is. Um, I wanted I want I wanted your opinion on the Burberry leather and vintage check crossbody bag. Uh, oh, I love it. I love a lot more of the older Burberry stuff, just because I find that it looks more classier. I think a lot of it looks more trendy, more edgy, which is my style, but not enough for me to pay that price point. Um, but if you can get a good deal about it, I would get it. I've been debating on getting this bag. If you love it, I would go for it. I really like a lot of the older Burberry bags. I think they're so beautiful and so classy. Um, Ronaldo says, hey, Sergio, what is your Zodiac sign? I am a Virgo. Does anybody, can you see the Virgo in me? I don't know. Some people say yes, some people no. But I, a lot of people say they see the Virgo inside of me. Um, Tommy says opinions on the little Nas X and shoes. I'm not going to say that word. I think he has. Done, I think what he's done is disgusting. Um, no, and also sorry for asking too many questions. You're not asking too many questions, Thomas. You can ask me whatever you want. Um, I agree. I don't. I don't. I never cared for him, and I don't care for him now. And I don't really support him. I never really cared for him, even when um, that one song came out with Billy Ray Cyrus. I mean, I liked it, but I, I never cared for him. There's always something about him that I didn't like. And now I see, and I never cared for him. He's always come across as very attention seeking. And so I, I don't think we would ever, I, he's just not my cup of tea. I don't care for him at all. I don't care for his music video. I don't care for his shoes. I don't check for him and I keep it moving. But Little Nas X is definitely a no, no for me. Um, do you, what do you think of the St. Laurent Lulu puffer and cinnamon or denim? with the rent to, to buy it medium again. Ooh, the denim one is so pretty. Um, I love, 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 love the denim one. I think the denim one is absolutely um, stunning. I saw it in the round bag. I saw it all of them. Um, I, I love it all. Um, Janela says Fendi or Prada. Uh, for me right now, Prada. I Prada, me gusta más Prada than Fendi. Um, 
if you ever want to shop pre-loved vintage uh, collect condition a good price point, I highly recommend traveling to Japan when the world opens up. Yes, I, I've always wanted to. Um, I've always wanted to go to Japan. So, I mean, when I go there, you know, I'm going to vlog everything. Um, and let me just send this quick message to the group chat. Um, I was asking because I am buying jeans and women. So wondering which to have a better texture, Paige, Mother, or J. Brown. Paige is very stretchy. Um, I don't like page black jeans because I no actually that's AG never mind on page jeans they're just so stretchy I have to get them like two sizes extra small and so they can stretch out to me mother just has a good stretch and it always comes back into place that's what I like about it and I, I like J brand too I haven't had a lot of experience with J brand but um, I would say mother J brand and then page but I like all of them but it just depends are the black sandals you wore on your Instagram from the row are the ones with the square from yes they are they are right here. I cannot wait to wear them. I love them so much, and I have yet to wear them. I have sampled them all. I have sampled them for outfits um, to shoot, but I have not physically worn them out. But I will wear them out very, very soon. But they are the ones from the road that I got in January. Um, I can believe we're in uh, April, January, February, March, April. That's crazy. Uh, Coach Troy Birch or Mark Jacobs. I, I love them all. I love, love, love all those brands. Uh, right now, I'm definitely a coach and a Tory over Mark, but tomorrow um, I'm meeting up with the essay from Mark Jacobs. He pulled some ready to wear pieces for me at the outlet, so um, I'll be at the Mark Jacobs store. I mean, I love all of them, but I see appreciation in a lot of brands. So for me, I love options, so I love a little bit of everything. Um, I have, uh, I'm going to be here for like 10 more minutes. So ask me all your questions, love, before you leave. Back in with the guests, con las ganas. Uh, she, she said, I love the Burberry bag. Thanks, Sergio. I'll be getting the Burberry bag as an early B day gift. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Like I said, I prefer the, like, not, I wouldn't even use the order, just like that from that time frame. I prefer them a lot more. I feel like you're really going to like it. Um, uh, Christine says, What's a vintage bag that could be trending, but people don't know about it yet? I think Aliyah is going to be popping. I think Aliyah is the next brand that's going to be out there. So if you want like a vintage Aliyah bag, I would hop on it. And I've been kind of seeing them and I'm thinking about buying a vintage Aliyah bag. Even Aliyah clothing, anything Aliyah, guys, I promise you Aliyah is making a comeback. Aliyah, if you want anything from Aliyah, which I've always been a fan of Aliyah, but I've never purchased anything, um, Aliyah is going to be the next bag that's going to make a comeback. And I know they've been saying like the spin Fanny spy bag is gonna come back. Um, I can see it coming back, maybe not this year, but definitely next year. But anything Aliyah, go for it. If you if you want something, especially handbags, I think Aliyah is gonna be the next popping bag. And since Ferragamo is going through this transition, I think Ferragamo is another brand that I could see being more popular. Um, but definitely, definitely Aliyah. What do you guys agree? Do you agree with Aliyah or no? Um, I want to go to Japan too. I love your hair, eighty seven. Um, yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to go to Japan? Japan looks like a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, Joshua Games says, Sergio, do you like the Prada um, Monolith boot? Um, I'm going to Google that up right now. Give me one second. Oh, it's the, it's the classic one with the pouch. Uh, oh, I still like it. And in January, I posted a video uh, Tr like items worth buying that are kind of it items. I like them. They're more readily available than what than before. But I still think she's a moment. Uh, I definitely prefer the shorter one over the larger one. I think the larger one may be not the hottest shoe, but I think the shorter one you can get away with wearing right now too. And then for the spring and the summer. Um, hi, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? Any recommendations for a good designer bucket bag? Vintage Louis Vuitton Epi leather. Like I said, I can appreciate a nice something even if it could not be for me. Uh, I like it. And if you want new, I think Gucci does really, really beautiful uh, bucket bags. I think that like the Ophidia ones, I think think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I would say vintage Louis or like Epi leather, like in a beautiful like, green color, red color, or um, Gucci bucket bags. I think those are some of my favorite ones. I think they really kill it in the ballpark with, um, I think they're really killing the ballpark with bucket bags. Um, I recently got the Givenchy Bond denim camera bag. Any opinions on this bag? I just love your fashion sense. I like it. I don't like the color of the denim for me to buy it. I think it's a really pretty bag. I love the size. I like that it has like Givenchy like right now, but it's like, it's, it's kind of like that where it's like in font. I just wish the denim color was like a little bit lighter or like it's more of the acid wash. I like it. 
I like the silhouette, but for me, I wish it was just like a different color of denim, but I think it is a really pretty bag. Um, what I meant is that you look good in both clothing. You, he said you can wear women and men uh, clothing. Not too many people can pull that off. Oh, thank you so much, D. I appreciate it. Yeah, I try to make everything proportional. Like I try to make sure everything looks good. I know some people like to wear super, super feminine and they have very masculine features or vice versa. And it doesn't look proportional for me. I try to make everything that I wear that's unisex very proportional. Um, and that's how I personally do it. And I just, my my thing is just to, um, to get, make sure everything looks proportional and I keep it moving. But thank you so much, Z. I really appreciate it. Uh, Kenya says, let's all get vaccinated and head to Japan. I mean, I think the move wants to start opening up. I I mean, I've always wanted to go to Japan. Tokyo, fire. I also wanted to go to Shanghai, China. Um, that's, that's a beautiful city that I've always uh, seen that I would also, also love to go is Shanghai, China. Um, what happened to your pink Fendi pouch? Uh, I sold it to a subscriber. She sent me a picture of it. She loves it. Can you please make a coach shopping vlog? Yeah, if the new coach pillow bag has it, in store, I will go and make a vlog uh, and you'll see it on YouTube. So I think I will do that. Uh, thoughts on recommendations for a designer, beginner luxury bag, Judy B. Jones. I have a video on it, best first bags to buy. It's 11 months old. I will be doing a updated one. I would watch that one, but be on the lookout. Like I said, in the month of April, it's a lot of replenishment content, a lot of core content. So you'll see that um, an updated one coming up. I'm doing one like on totes and stuff, best classic replenishment style bags under $500. So you'll see like a lot of replenishment content and classic content on the channel, but I do already have one up if you wanna check it uh, out. Thank you so much, Judy B. Jones. Um, I can definitely see the Virgo in you. You seem very honest, direct, and not with the BS. Yeah, I just feel like that's how I am. I agree, just got mine. I got the short one. I mean, I think she's cute. Do you have like the matching bag with it or did you just get the boot? I mean, I think she's cute. I think the, the, the tall one, I think it's had its moment, but I think, the, I think the short one still has longevity. Um, like if I see one like at last call or something and it's like $600, $500, I'm buying it. But I, I think it's so cute. Uh, Lynn says, yes, Gucci has some cute bucket bags. I think I think not a lot of designer brands do cute bucket bags, but I will say Gucci for full retail, they do really pretty uh, bucket bags. Um, I still love Boston bags. Can you recommend a good one? Uh, the, vint the vintage uh, Gucci Boston bags. I can't believe they don't really make them as much as they used to. I think Gucci does really pretty Boston bags. Um, I've always preferred the Gucci ones over the Louis Vuitton ones, but I know MCM makes some really great ones. What I like about the MCM ones is that they have zippers on the side, so you can zip it and you can see a little bit more versus it just kind of like, you know, like when it's a handbag, it goes all the way to the side on the MCM, buck, uh, the MCM ones versus just, a, just like a regular Boston bag just kind of goes like that. That's how um, so, uh, I prefer the MCM ones, and I think vintage Gucci ones are really great ones. Uh, what do your parents think of your success on YouTube? Um, they love it. I would say uh, my dad, I mean, he's not really like a social media person. I mean, he, he, if I'm happy, he's happy. My mom is definitely the one that's like pushing me a little bit more. I will say when I did want it to do YouTube and I did want it to make it as a passion, um, I will say like my, my mom told me like, oh, I don't think you should do it. Like I had a, like a lot of people, even my own mom told me not to do YouTube. Like, I don't think it's for you. You shouldn't put yourself out there. Like, I think you should be more discreet. Like, I think this is better for you. And so I kind of saw her opinion slowly change, uh, but now she really likes it. She always asks me so many questions. Um, she's always on my, like, I don't follow, like she has like an incognito profile. And so she'll check my posts and stuff and she'll like screenshots she'll, like, Mijo, you look so good in this and blah, blah, blah. And so um, my dad, is, as long as I'm happy, he's happy. Same for my brother, not really like a big social media person. Um, and my, I think all my parents, everybody in my immediate family aren't really big social media persons, um, except for me. But I would say um, my mom is like really happy. When I hit 45, she was so happy. And she told me we have to do something when you hit 50. And so hopefully that's very, very soon. But um, I would say they're supportive. They support it. But I would say recently my mom's been more of it, my cheerleader. And I, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. Um, what, would, what would you ask to replace or get clean if they borrowed and was not uh, up to your standard when it's returned? Oh, when I let bags borrow. That's happened before. That's why I don't really lend bags like I used to. Um, the only bags that I never, ever, will ever lend are my snow bags. 
no anything those two bags i would never let anybody borrow because those are the highest price points and it would hurt me the most and there and then like certain jewelry pieces and certain clothing pieces not at all every i've let people borrow like my product bag that bag like i've let people borrow bags but i've had a very bad experience of letting a friend borrow a bag we traded bags um uh, this was like two years ago and it wasn't returned in the condition that I wanted it. And so the condition went from like an A plus to like an A minus, maybe a B plus. And so I don't lend my bags as much as I used to. There's only like two people that I will lend my bags to. And other than that, I don't lend my bags to nobody. Um, um, why so camera bag or Gucci disco bag? Why so camera bag all the way, Erica? I went to Tokyo two years ago. You would definitely love it. A place to rent a pocket wi-fi i'm planning to go again this year if willing yeah if, if i can go to japan this year i would love 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 to go um let's see um uh, but yeah definitely in the plans if i can go cv says love your video sergio can't wait to see you when that 100 plaque once you hit 100 subscribers and your big mexican hands like you said one of your videos cindy yes 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 my mom always told me and this was always been the butt of the joke they were like sergio um tu tienes manos para say construction or like do like uh like hard labor but we would always joke around because they knew that i was not going to do that they knew that i didn't want to be out in the sun I don't, and i'm not putting anybody down like not at all because i have family members that work in construction or do things outside but we would always say like you have but then they would say like my personality is like very like feminine and like very kind of flowy and so it was always be the, but the butt of the joke because i would see like my uncle's hands that are like construction hands and we put them together and they'll be like matching and so that's why my mom always says you have construction hands like your uncle so um yeah <laughs> i'll have construction i'll have my little construction hands holding a 100 000 scarlet flag like this <laughs> I would go to Japan when cherry blossoms are out in April. Oh my God, yes, cherry blossom. That is, uh, cherry blossoms are beautiful. What do you think of Ming Wright's chain, bag chains? I have not heard of it. I will look it up, but I have not heard of it right now. Uh, Hindi says, why so large all black mat my next purchase? Um, is it the K? I mean, like, um, like a Lulu or what type of handbag all black? But I think St. Laurent does really good black on black. Tommy says, will you ever purchase a Bottega, ben Bottega chain cassette or pouch? Right now, no, but I'm open to it. But right now, I don't. Uh, what do you think of the cheerleader line at TG Maxx in Contemporary? I've heard good things about it. I haven't purchased anything from it, but I haven't heard a lot of things um, about it. But the few things that I have heard, it's it's good, but I personally have not tried it. She has a story you mentioned before to not pay full price for Givenchy and Tagona because they go on sale or the pre-love market. What would be a good sale price of the pre-love for the Antigona mini? A thousand dollars. I mean, for the small Antigona, a thousand dollars off. I think it's a good deal. If it's the old classic black one, and I think it's like twenty two ninety. If you get it for like twelve ninety or like thirteen ninety, I think it's a good deal. Um, but I'll take one rack off. Uh, for the small or for the medium, I think for the small maybe like two or three hundred dollars off. I always tell the mini ones always buy them in person, always buy them in like at the store. But I would say like if you can get a rock off, I think it's a really great price. I go for it. Uh, I love you so much. I love you too. I'm so glad you are on YouTube. You are so down to earth and super cute. Love your fashion sense. You don't seem to be too revealing about personal things. Yeah, I try to still keep all a lot of the things. I think that's what you know. I've always thought about this, like Amber Rose and Kanye West. I know I'm mentioning them. Like Amber Rose had that mysteriousness about, about it. She had, you know, they didn't know, she didn't talk a lot. I know I talk a lot about my YouTube channels, but there's so much that I haven't talked about myself that it still has a little bit of mysteriousness to it. And I think that's what I like, that not everybody knows a lot of things about me and I just kind of keep it low key. But over time, like I said, I will open up and I will share more things. But um but I love the relationship that we have. And I think where I was last year to this year, as far as opening up, I think it's really great. And I could never see myself. If you would have told me a year ago, I would have done live streams. I would have been like, I don't think so. But now I'm really glad that I'm doing, but I think over time I'll be doing more. Um, can we give this video a thumbs up to 120? I'm about to end it. I'm about to end it here in the next five minutes, but if we can get it to 120, I appreciate it. Um, I let my cousin for a $45 dress and it wasn't even her style and still having never gotten back. It's been 10 years. Yeah. Like I said, it took me that bad experience. Good. I mean, I, I was upset, but I wasn't super upset. Um, but yeah, that made me, and shoes, it's also something that I don't let people borrow. The only person I will let borrow my shoes is my brother. And that's it. I don't let, no, I don't let, like if 
anybody, like the only people, I have two friends and my brother and maybe my mom, if she wants to borrow something, I'll let her borrow it, but that's about it. Like less than five people, I'll let borrow my stuff. Um, and yeah, and it's also too, cause you, you never know if you'll get it back. That happened to me in high school. I let somebody borrow a pair of shoes and I try to get the office to get, try to get them back. Like, well, if you gave them to her and you acknowledge that and she didn't steal them from you, there's nothing we can do. So, um, yeah, I would, it, I, I'm very picky on stuff like that. Um, it's cherry blossom season right now where I live. Such a beautiful time. The cherry blossoms are beautiful. Um, would you recommend the Alma BB even with the price increases? If you like the Alma BB, I would go for it. I would go for the Abin versus the uh, versus the Monogram. Uh, I personally wouldn't buy one, um, but I know a few people that have the uh, Abin one and they really like it. And I think it's a really pretty bag to get hot stamped. I don't think a lot of Louis Vuitton bags are cute to get hot stamped. I don't think a lot of Louis Vuitton bags are cute being hot stamped, but that one is. Kenya says, are trying to find those row sandals. Are they from a previous season? Where did you find them? I got them from Nordstrom when they were 60% off on their website. I did see them on Nordstrom Rack. Okay, so the stock picture shows like a little like white and black. When I got them, they were all black. Um, but they but they when but when you order them, they're gonna be all black. Um I bought them at Nordstrom and I know that those stuff are not at the rack. I would check at the rack if they still have them. But I did check like a week ago and they had a few sizes in them. So I would check the rack and I think I think Bird of Goodman box too. So I would check Bird of Goodman if they have them. Um, hit, a, hit me a DM on Instagram. Um, I'll send you a picture of the box. Um, I think they're called the Swan Sandal. What is your opinion on the Loewe puzzle bags? I love it. I would love to add one to my collection. If I see one at last call uh, at the end of the month, I will buy it. Uh, I I love the Loewe puzzle bag. I've always loved it ever since I saw it on Emma Hill many, many, many years ago. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust this. Um, should I buy the Chanel Classic at its full price in store? Yeah, I would say go for it. If you're going to have it forever or you're going to have it for a very long time or something you're going to pass down, go for it. Um, what is your opinion on a straight man who wants to work in the fashion industry, but there's a lot of stereotypes that all men in the fashion are gay, LGBTs? Do you think her, do you think heterophobia exists in fashion? Oh my God, yes. I, I work with a lot of coworkers who have dress and style, but are not gay. And sometimes, like I've seen people make them feel uncomfortable, especially other gays. Like for me, I have a good relationship with all types of people, like straight men. Like I'm not the type of person to push that boundary to be disrespectful to say certain comments because i wouldn't i don't like it when people do it to me and i wouldn't want somebody to do it to me and so for me i try to be courteous and i try to let them know like hey like i know that whatever but like i got your back i'm we're cool and that that's happened a lot and i've seen that i've seen many stories and i and it's happened a lot that i've seen in my own eyes it's really sad but it is it is true and i and um i try to be nice with um old everybody but um i've never had making i never had a problem with a straight guy being uncomfortable being around me because we know i know my boundaries like as whatever relationship we have um that we have to do financially like business wise and that's how i am but i do agree with you Wilma says hi sergio love watching thank you thank you so much Wilma. uh limby says yes keep the mystery and protect yourself i was responding to your uh mother's comment oh <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Lynn. Uh, saying all the way from Brooklyn, New York City. Um, thank you, uh, well, you're watching, I cannot talk today. Um, sending love from Dallas, Texas. Uh, yes, the Rose Sandals were sold out on Nordstrom the next day after your video. Yeah, there was like a few sizes left, but I did see like one or two pop up on the rack, or a few of them. So hopefully she was able to find them. But um, if you go on one of my haul videos, just put the row haul Sergio secret and it should pop up and i linked it on that video is the gucci mini marmot worth buying anymore personally no i don't think it's worth it if you do want a mini bag i'd go for the dionysis or dionysis more i think that one's more worth it um do we have any more last questions guys before i end out of here uh, i'm gonna give it one more minute and then i'm gonna head out but if you have any last questions i will answer it This has been such a great live stream. I love spending time with each and every single one of you. I love all the questions you guys have been asking me. I appreciate all your time. Really, really appreciate it. I'm so happy that you guys got to spend uh, your Friday night with me because uh, I love to spend time with you guys, especially interacting with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, especially on a live basis. Like, I, I love it. So um, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it one more minute. 
had a style denim jacket. Um, I would just wear a simple first piece, like a t-shirt or a bodysuit, and then a simple trouser, and just keep it like a cute, simple look. That's how I would wear it. Um, but for me, um, when I wear denim jacket, I wear like a black white tee, the denim jacket, some slacks, some sneakers, uh, like a backpack or tote, and I keep it moving. Um, Emily says, where do you get yourself for inspiration from? From everywhere. I see beauty in a lot of things, but some of my fashion inspirations are like Anina being as a person. Um, I don't know. I think Anina being, I take a lot of inspiration from, I'm going to go on Instagram. I like Kylo Lux. I take a lot of inspiration from her. I like her style. She she does like a lot more colorful right now, and I, and I really, really like it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Gabrielle Walker, like her, like I think... I, I, she's a good fashion inspiration. I like Anna Bay. I think she keeps me very classy looking. Emma Hill, Bethany Bathgate. I like the way Lori Harvey dresses, but I think the Sasha Simone L'Oreal style, I also like her style. These are just people on Instagram, but I also have like a lot more. But my number one is going to be her. Rosie Huntington Whitley, my number one fashion inspiration. Her. This is my fashion inspiration. I have to choose one person. Um, Ibedi says, love you, Sergio. Be safe. God bless you. God bless you, too. Is it a mistake to have a GG belt and I can't return it now? I mean, if you love it and you like it, I would wear it. Um, I Like I said, I don't have my Gucci Marmo belts anymore. Um, but if you like it and you feel confident wearing it, then wear it. Uh, what are your thoughts on luxury brands trying to become more sustainable? Some of it's a marketing standpoint and some of it's genuine. Um, but I see, through, I see through a lot of the brands, but they do it because that's what's on trend right now to try to be uh, sustainable. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I'll see you guys next Friday at 7 p.m. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your night. And see you guys on the next week. See you guys next week, guys. Bye, guys. And thank you so much. It's literally 3 a.m. in the UK, but now I'll watch your videos no matter what. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Um, bye, Sergio. Hope you have a good good time tonight. Oh, I will. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Yes, yeah, I'm going to have a good night. And thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys, and take care.